Welcome to Burger Planet After Dark. If you're here to have a good time, let me see a mur, 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 mur. in the chat, boys. Let's do this. Our donation goal is one million dollars tonight. I know you guys can make it happen. Just ask for a race at Wendy's. Even if you don't understand it, you're still on the burger planet. Ooh, even if you don't understand it, you're still on the burger planet. Let's hear it for Burger Planet! Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, all the way from the internet. Burger Planet! <laughs> Welcome to Burger After Dark. Who's ready to have a good time? Get up out of your chair. Get out of bed. And Let's dance. Come on. I'd like to return to the classics. Put those hands together! All right, guys. Is there anybody going through some stuff in your life? Are you guys going through some problems? You know what we do with our problems. We don't face them head on. No, we, we run from our problems. Come on, run from those problems. Ah, get out of here, problems. Ah, I don't want to do the laundry. I'm going to watch TV. Ah. The dishes are piling up. Who cares? Ah, 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 I'm getting fat. Ah, I don't know what to do. Try keto. It worked for me. Oh, come on. Let's keep running, guys. Oh, my God. It's a... What is that? I think we're okay. What is it? Oh, it's a problem. Go. Run from your responsibilities. I don't want to do my homework, Daddy. Ah, ah, whew, ah, it's no use. We can't run forever. We're gonna have to tackle these problems and responsibilities head on. And I'm here to do it. Welcome to Burger Planet. After dark, this is the time when the applause is supposed to start. I don't have a production team. I have to do everything myself. There we go. Hello. Welcome to the show. This is the show where I sit around and don't do very much and read your comments. Yes. This is great. This is Burger on Autopilot. Hello. Welcome to the show. How's everyone doing? Welcome. And I sure am happy to be here with you guys tonight. Hope everyone's having a lovely Saturday night. And don't forget to move those clocks back, fall back, and it's spring forward in time for daylight savings in the spring. In fall, we fall back an hour. So at 1 a.m., the clock goes back to midnight or something I don't know it's stupid but that's the way it goes I didn't invent daylight savings time you mind if I vape I'm gonna vape 
How's the van fun coming along? Not good, Greg. I'm not making much money. Just driving around to doing... Going places and stuff. It's not cheap, Greg. I don't know if you've left your house in a while, guys, but... Shit's expensive out there. It's like... 250 for a gallon of gas over here. That's not even crazy nas nationwide, but... It sure is whenever you're broke. 2 a.m. becomes 1 a.m. Alright, Steve. Steve's got it with the daylight saving time. 2 a.m. At 2 a.m. it becomes 1 a.m. Okay, there you go. Wouldn't it make more sense if it went to 1 a.m. back to midnight? Start back at midnight? I don't know. Well, it doesn't make sense, but that's what we do. You live in Seattle. I feel your pain. You do feel my pain. Thank you. Do I ever collab with people? Yeah, all the time. Most of the time, people are, you know, flaky. They don't show up on time. They don't have a good attitude about filming stuff most of the time. Talking to you, Dave. <laughs> Talking to you, Dave. Are you out there? Update on the van fun. I don't know. Let's see how much money I have in the bank. That'll be the update. No. It's been so long since I checked. I'm scared. I don't know, guys. It's not going to be much in there. I don't know. Let's see what it's loading. I've got one point eight two hundred dollars not good not good the van funds not going well all right that's the update I'm not doing well it's not enough to buy a van oh god let's just hang it up go let's call the day that just bummed me out why did you guys have me do that I don't want to know I thought I at least had $200 in the bank. I filled up with gas. Oh, I haven't even filled up with gas. Oh, no. Well, there goes another $40. All right, we're at $240 in the van fund. Not great. That's actually my whole life fund, actually. It's not just the van fund. That's my net worth. Put it on Google. You wear that shirt frequently because it's amazing. Now, the snowflakes are making sense, so it's finally okay to wear the shirt. I didn't want to wear long sleeves like it hot dancing around and stuff. I have some long sleeve shirts. It's Burger Planet After Dark. Oh, it is. It is lame duck. And we're taking calls. Everybody go to the Discord. We're taking calls. We want, we want to get lame duck G on the Discord phone call. Let's see how he's doing. If, if we can get a huge guess like that. Check out your channel. You interview streamers and YouTubers often. Be interesting to ask you about your experience streaming. How many subscribers do you have? I usually only collaborate with people with more subscribers than me. I'm trying to grow my channel. But who knows, you might, you're probably going to go farther than I will in life. So maybe I should. All right, this channel's going places unlike mine. All right. All right, we're here in the Discord here. I don't see anything. Where's my stream CloudBot? What's going on with CloudBot? Every time I start a new stream, I have to turn it on and turn it off. Very frustrating. Streamlabs, get it together over here with your bot, please. How are people going to know every five minutes to donate if it doesn't remind them? How will they know not to donate <laughs> How if it doesn't keep reminding them? Uh, let's not talk about my Uncle Terry. He's out of town for the weekend. He's with his girlfriend. She wears leather jackets, and she's pretty cool. So I guess they're shacking up, so he's over at her place. He said I can have the house to myself this weekend. He said throw a wild party, do whatever, I don't care. So obviously I've 
called Dave, but he said he's too drunk to drive, so I'm here throwing the part, having the time of my life. Woo! All right. Let's get to the is Streamlabs bot in here now. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know if it's in here. I don't know. <laughs> Let's try it now. This damn thing gives me so much headache. Bam, bam, bam. You know, that's not very nice. Uncle Terry's never done anything inappropriate with me. You know what? I'm giving you a timeout. My hands are tied here. I don't think you're a real doctor, too, by the way. I'm skeptical. Only true doctors, doc Dr. Funkenstein. I've been thinking about getting into the skilled trades. Nice. People need framers for framing houses and buildings and things. They're really needing a lot of those people. That, you can make over 100G, 100K a year doing that. What's up, Joseph? Welcome. All right, where's Lame Duck? I asked him to be on my show and he just disappeared. What the hell, man? Super rude. Super rude. All right, guys, I got a link here. There you go. I had to make a link. You were in the voice chat? Oh, okay. Shit. Well, I'm in the voice chat now. All right. I'm in the voice chat. Let's do it. I'm in my Discord, by the way. I don't know if you knew that one. Are you there? I do not see you. This song is so peppy. Just join Burger Buddies and I'll drag you into Global Corp or Burger Babies or wherever you can get in. Might take some other people too. Oh, there we go. Hey, let me turn down the music here. We are live with Lame Duck G, professional Minecraft player, uh, streamer. The list goes on and on. Maced Bone Clinks, that was awesome. How are you doing, man? Are you there? Hello. Can you hear me? Let me make sure I got my settings here. I don't see your thing lighting up. Can you hear me? Check your settings, and I'll check mine. It's not working. I don't hear anything. Multi output output device. Yes. Let me show built in output. Hello? Lame duck? Are you there? Mic check. Mic check. Hello? I don't see his name going green that the talking's going through. Hello? You need to check your settings, I believe, man. This is going great. Glad we turned the music off. Anybody out there? Did we lose connection? Okay, we are still streaming, it says. Uh, the chat is not moving, too. Are you guys... Everybody type a 1 in the chat. This is a test. Let's see what's going on. Type 1 in the chat if you love life. Type a two if you're just a dick. Lame duck, are you there? Okay, we need someone else, maybe a backup, get join in the burger babies. This is not Lame Duck isn't coming. Or he's in here, it's not working, I don't know. Trevor's just a dick. Damn it, Trevor. There's always one, guys. There's always one. At least we know it's him. Of course it's a guy with no profile pic. 
Tommy's putting weird numbers. YouTube is my TiVo, 69. That wasn't an option. Okay, guys, you outliers. All right, someone else joined the Discord. We got the link in here. I don't know. Lame Duck's having some technical di difficulties, apparently. Hopefully, he can figure that out. I, we can't hear you, bud. I don't hear, see your name lighting up. I think you got to check your audio video settings there on your Discord app or whatever you're using here. Hello. Well, just talk whenever you get it figured out. I guess. And he's gone now. Let's see if it works now. Oh, here we go. I can hear you now. Oh, awesome. All right. Uh, we gave you quite an intro earlier. This is a uh, lame duck. He's a Minecraft player. He's a YouTuber and a live streamer on the Lemons site. What's it called? The Lemons. D Live. He's man. the huge D -Live. one of the biggest streamers on D Live, and he makes the bone clinks, which is. Pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's. Oh wait. Oh, they're gonna give you some applause. Oh shit. Oh man. Speech. 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 Yeah. Hold on. I'm tearing up. I'm tearing up. I love pepper spray. I love Mace brand pepper spray. I think uh, Mace is the Fox, best. Fox 5.3 pepper spray. I've had Saber before, but it's just the the plastic housing and stuff's not as robust, and just carrying it around daily use, it gets all beat it up, and yeah. the little security thing that covers it up, cap broke off easy, you know. And then I, you know, I still use this. Uh, I actually gave that to a. Uh, this guy that was walking home in the park and I was like, you know, he was older and he walked home late at night a lot. I was like, why don't you keep this with you just in case? <laughs> My yeah, server is locked. Well, you must be banned or something already. I don't know. Is anybody else not getting on this? Can't get it. Join the discord. Is Everybody join the discord. Let's see if it works. Post in the chat. Let's see what's going on with it. My server's locked. What are you guys talking about? I'm in it right now. I actually gave one of my uh, pepper sprays to Uber. That uh, that day after he got jumped, he was on the boulevard, and I was just like, "Here, man, you you could use one of these." That was was that the pepper spray he had when he was gonna mace Pam Hampton Brandon? Yeah, yeah, that was dude. Mine. I gave him that. <laughs> Damn, your pepper spray is famous. That's so cool. <laughs> it's her. It'll be in the Smithsonian with the Vanshin one day, hopefully. Yeah, some memorabilia. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So what have you been up to these days? You still living at the same place? Yeah, man, for the time being, like, I want... Are you and your fiancé gonna move in together or anything? Or are you guys... Yeah, yeah, yeah? we're living together now. It's, that's... The, you see my apartment. It's not a big apartment. It's kind of a... It'd be kind of small for, like, a couple, maybe. It's more for, like, kind of a bachelor pad size. Yeah, exactly. I just need, like, a place with a bit more space. Well, when you guys got two incomes, too, you could probably... For what I don't know what how much you're paying how much are you paying over there if you don't mind us asking? I'm paying almost two thousand dollars. And you're like he's like two blocks from the Hollywood or like maybe three or four blocks from the Hollywood subway stop. Yeah, I mean You're right in the thick of it, but I mean that area's not really that fun, honestly. Like are you tired of it yet? I'm tired of it. It was fun for about a year or so. Yeah, now, it took me about two years or about a year to be kind of bored with it. Yeah, after a while it gets kind of old. Like, I, I get what it's about. It was cool to experience it, but, like, I want a change. We can always move, you know, maybe Silver Lake or uh, somewhere around Echo Park area or somewhere on the outline. You can find um, ch um, Kate Koreatown has some really cheap real estate, too, for the what you get over there and there's a lot of places to go around i'd say like somewhere around echo park possibly like and it's kind of close to downtown so you could go to like little japan or tokyo town or little tokyo or whatever park's not a bad idea there's a lot of fun stuff over there there's nightlife and shopping and it's fun to just walk up there there's less like crackheads and shit <laughs> you know yeah, hollywood yeah, boulevard Oh, there's still some. 
there's still like meth heads are very driven like they will travel they will like they're around the city like everywhere but there's just less of them yeah exactly i think cause it's just a lot of foot traffic around here they probably get a lot of tips and stuff so it's like good business for them maybe i don't know do you know any spit do you know any spanish that might help there's a lot of latino culture over there yeah yeah i know some spanish. <laughs> yeah a lot of salvadorian oh well, there that could come in handy I, I think like if you're gonna be homeless la is not the place to be homeless because the cost of living is so high it's too hard to to like get to like get an apartment or something like it, it's too expensive I can't even do it, and I'm working like full time. Hey, you know what I mean? maybe it's time to take the take the misses and move into a little mansion. You know, <laughs> do a little traveling. Uh, I was thinking of maybe like a mobile home or something like the you know the manufactured homes. Mobile home. But I don't. I don't know. It's just hard to find parking. I like something that you can boondock and like park in the city and stuff without like. A lot of RVs parking pl- have restrictions in cities and urban in- environments, so yeah, it makes it hard. With, with, with my savings, burger, I, I can't even afford an RV right now. I mean, what? RV sounds nice right now. Really? I bet I have less in my savings than you do. <laughs> I just checked. I have a what do I have? A hundred and hundred and eighty four dollars, and I have to fill up with gas, so it's gonna be like a hundred and fifty dollars. It's not, I, yeah, I know. Maybe banning everyone wasn't the best way to grow my channel. <laughs> oh, well. And then I unban them and they're more pissed, so they just come back more furious and angry. <laughs> I was banned for five months, fat fuck. <laughs> maybe go, Soul said maybe go gay for pay. You know, I mean, it's working for Hampton Brandon, allegedly, so I don't know, maybe... You know, if I lose a little more weight, you know, I could uh, get some guys who like chubby chasers. I, you know, when you were in L.A., I told you you should have done the background acting, man. It, it's so, like... You still doing so that? Work right now. Yeah, it's so much work right now. Like, Are you doing that mainly now, for is that, like, you know, your normal uh, thing? I'm, until I get my real estate license, which won't be for a few months, yes, that's what I'm doing. And, like, I'm making okay money. Like, I'm making, like, over 20 an hour... You know, that's nice. Thing. And you already have a pretty nice car. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's no, nice. Well, I got a, I got a different car now. I have a truck now. I'm oh gonna... damn, he's gone country. <laughs> you know, they take a lot more gas. So it's kind of a problem. <coughs> but nice. I mean, I've been doing uh, a little bit of stand-in work also, and uh, mm. I found it to be very rewarding work. Oh really? Who are you? Can you talk about who you stand in for? Um, or are you not allowed? Is it you sign an NDA? No, I didn't sign but. an NDA or anything. Um, but it's a, it's a spinoff of the. Sh- you ever seen the show The Goldbergs? There's they're doing a spinoff of that. It's like a spinoff show, and I. Are you? Stood in. Oh, you stood in for, who? I think his name was Johnny or something. Oh. You stand in for Johnny? That's cool. That was cool. He was a very nice guy. It was, it was a lot of fun. Like, I, I like Santa at work because I feel like you're actually like part of the crew. Like, you're there on set the whole time. Like, you're not just a background guy. You're yeah, a stand-in. Like, like, Stand-ins? Yeah, oh, you guys get to eat the better food. Yeah. Background, you get that shit. Tacos. Like, I asked him with a PA, I was like, what do we do for lunch? He was like, oh, it's a, a walk-away lunch, they call it, meaning they don't want to give you anything. So I went off to the cafe that they had there, and I spent like 15 bucks on Thanks, some... Frank. He said the audio, your audio was too low. I got him raised up. Oh. I forgot to turn his audio up. Thanks, Frank. Can you guys hear him better Thank now? You. <laughs> anyway, I spent like 15 bucks on this meal, and then I, after lunch is over, one of the stand-ins, he, he knew I was new. He was like, hey, did you get any of that lunch? I was like... What do you mean? He's like, oh, yeah, you're part of the crew, man. You can eat all the good food. The walk-away lunch is for the background. We And there's, like, all this, you know, food I missed out on. But I don't know. I, I was still learning the ropes, you know. Uh, I'm kind of more experienced now. <laughs> you're not background anymore. You're a stand-in. You get a well, meal. You don't have to pay for your meals. 
you stand, so you basically stand there. Do you do any audio tests too, or is it like for the the audio <coughs> mics, or is it mostly just for like you know like they're getting the color temperature and you know they're getting the uh, lighting and stuff on you probably. No, it's it's mostly just yeah lighting and camera. Like they'll just put a mark and they'll say they call a second team. So first team is the principal. So the after principals, maybe you know they say their lines. They say okay, second team come in and then they line up the shot. You know, I stand where the principal would stand, and then I get out of the way, and then the principal does his line. It's, Did they cut your hair to, to like look, save? Do you do any shots where you're? like the back of their head or anything. So I think you get even more money for that. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not on camera at all for it. That what's that? Cool. What's that called? Is that also a uh, stand? -in? That's a body double. That's body like, double. like kind of like stunt work. Similar to stuff. Well, like dude, that. like people, you know, like the, the body doubles for baskets and stuff. They, I don't, they don't get paid what Zach gets paid, but you know, they get more than, Oh yeah. They get like a way big. Body bump. Doubles. Are you in it? Are you in the, uh, union then for are you sag yeah I, I don't think it would be worth doing it full time unless you were sag because like i i don't know what the minimum wage is right now but it's like if you had a lot of bills it would it, maybe if you didn't have many bills it'd still be worth it but mm -hmm. like with sag i can make like minimum 175 for the day like that's not including overtime which there usually is some overtime so that's good making, for a day. How long is it usually that you're there for a sh when they're shooting on average? Uh, it could be like a 12-hour day. That could come out to like over $300 easily. Oh, after eight hours, uh, it's like extra money? No, no, no. Uh, after eight hours, it's like time and a half. So I'll make like 30 an hour after Ooh. eight hours. So you're like hoping they go to 12 hours. Oh, yeah. That's like when the work, the real work begins after eight hours. Your, your job is just to like stay on set as long as you can. That's everybody's job. <laughs> you, know? you still do your job. You do. You work hard, but you want that overtime. That's like your bread and butter money. You know, what's the longest shoot you've been on? Uh, this year, because I just started up again a few months ago, <laughs> uh, probably 16 hours. And that was cool, though, because I was working with Jim Carrey on uh, something. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> oh, you can't talk about what you worked on with? <laughs> no, no, I probably shouldn't talk about it. But Has it been released yet? D does it what? Has it been released yet? Uh, I shouldn't talk about it, but, yeah, the longest was 16 hours. Well, I mean, has, <laughs> it, has that project been released yet? Or I can't say. <laughs> you can't say whether it's been released yet or not? I cannot say, Burger. Oh, okay. <coughs> but his, I'll put it this way. His name was Shmim Jerry? <laughs> his name was... It was an actor whose name rhymes with Shmim Jerry. <laughs> I don't know. I don't okay. know what that is. All right. All right. I can say later on. I just can't say now. Okay. Oh, so it might not have been released yet. I just can't talk about it at this time. Okay. Oh, don't talk about it then. So, Shmim, Shmim Jerry has a new project coming out, apparently? Yeah. Nice. He's a really he's big always... painter now. He's, like, really into painting, has a painting studio in L.A., and he's... Yeah, yeah. Jerry, he took Jerry Seinfeld and did the first little, uh, little walkthrough of his studio that he's done on camera, and, man, it looked like a real nice painting studio. It was a real modern, huge tall ceilings and he's got like every color of, of uh you know of paint under the sun looked like he painted it with acrylics it's like he used golden acrylics yeah i've heard interviews where he, i guess he lives kind of like a reclusive life maybe he just kind of sits around and paints i don't know why well, I, I saw uh. on google for some reason it popped up that he just <clears throat> broke up with his girlfriend so i guess he'll have a lot more time to paint yeah <laughs> or something make more fun well, I when i saw him he seemed to be in good spirits like he was a nice guy and cracking jokes on set you know he nice. seemed to be in a good mood <laughs> let me tell you something <laughs> <laughs> nice <clears throat> who who are some other famous actors you've worked with that you could talk about uh, let me uh, there was some big ones recently it's just i'm blanking right now just worked uh, with so many, you know, 
Big Bobby De Niro. So many names are going through my head it's right now. Like, who could pinpoint one? <laughs> so many burgers. So many burger baby. Oh, baby. oh man. Okay, I can't. Uh, I probably shouldn't talk about it now, but I can talk about it in a few months. But I was working with some Oscar-winning actors on a movie that's coming out. It's that's a good. movie about. It's a police movie. Okay. Ooh, and that, Police that's Academy all I can Nine. Say. Uh, Are you playing the new Steve Gutenberg? No, no, no. I'm background, dude. <laughs> Featured background. You know what? You want me to? You want me to make some calls and get you moved up to like you know the other better gigs? You know, Daddy Burger can make some calls and make some shit happen for you. I'm huge in the industry. Yeah. I've met David yeah, Dobrik a couple Burger. times, so uh, he's he he's, doesn't. Uh... Return, I don't have his number. He, I don't know how to reach him. I message him on Twitter. He didn't message me back. But we're pretty much like. Almost best friends. Oh, man. <laughs> I ran into one of his uh, vlog squad members at Walmart last week. Um, Ooh, which one? Something something Nash. I forgot his oh. name. Oh. <clears throat> the Can't... Nash guy. He starts with the, yeah, the, the J, guy. I think. Yeah, Jason Nash. Jason Nash. Oh, wow. Did you get uh, his... Did he prank you? Was he... Wor- do anything silly? Yeah, he was working on some kind of prank there or something, and I just said, "Hey, what's up? I live near uh, one of the vlog squad members' house." Oh yeah, He's like, oh live... yeah, oh yeah, you live by uh, that guy Dom. Uh, Dom. Dom. Yeah, he yeah. does stuff in that parking lot over by the smoke shop a lot. Yeah, dirty Dom. Yeah, he he's cool. I met him. I met him before. Is he cool? He's a nice guy. Yeah, he's very cool. Very nice guy. But I don't know. I saw. I haven't. I don't really watch his content. I recently watched some of his content, and it is not. Uh, it's not my style, man. I don't Who? think I want to be associated with that brand. Who? I'd say you do. <laughs> a dirty from... thumb. Oh, is his brand not as good? Uh, it's just not not my brand, man. I don't want to be associated with. You're more into what Minecraft. Stick with what your what's your wheelhouse. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Are you have you built any cool Minecraft things? It's it was Roblox and lately I've been playing more Apex Legends, okay, Burger. I've been playing Is that the new one or the old one? That's the that's the new one. Apex the Legends and then there's Fortnite 2 that just came out. All the kids are just going bananas over that. A lot of people are going over to Apex because Fortnite is just getting way too like far fetched and it's just too stupid. Apex, it's, Apex it's is bit where too the silly. big boys play. Yeah, used that's... to be Battleground. <clears throat> now it's Apex Legends. That's where the big that's where the big boys play. The big dogs. <laughs> Fortnite's for babies. I mean, it's still fun to play once in a while. I'm just uh, kind of tired if of it. If you're a baby. <laughs> and last I checked, you're not a baby, are you? No. <laughs> He's a grown-ass man. I ain't no freaking baby. What, uh, what's been up with you, Burger? Man, just making my little films, getting two or three hundred views on them. I'm blowing up over here. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I can eat a cheeseburger, get a thousand views. Then it's something I spend a hundred hours on. It might get like two or three hundred views. It's like, it's frustrating. You ever thought of making more like vlog style type stuff? Like edited, like Casey Nia style, like edited stuff? I did some like that. I did some, I start. I did four vlogs. <laughs> But then I didn't stick with it. It took so long, like, to do a vlog, and then I'd spend the next day editing it, and just, like, fuck. Yeah, that's the problem. It's just so much editing, it's off-putting. So much editing. I would to just maybe do it to where it just record. I can do in Filmic Pro where it just records little stuff, and then just, like, just, like, upload it with the, just the clips, on, and then do some minor editing or something on it, you know? Yeah. I need to go back to L.A. Hey, Trey, why don't you go to L.A., okay? Do us all a favor. A lot of, oh. of, of douchebags there. Just and kidding. for those of you you'll, wondering, probably fit, not many. You won't fit in, though, Trey, because you're a nice guy. I'm just warning you. That's why I didn't fit in. <laughs> you should stay where you are in Nebraska. It's safer there. 
Do for those of you wondering stuff. why I, I haven't uploaded content, um, I I got striked like the other day. Did you know that, Burger? I what have been up to date on your your no, I didn't know that. What yeah. happened? Uh, I guess I gotta maybe I don't know if I could appeal this because like you know that uh, car accident video that I had like the the vlog. It got striked. I got a community guideline strike for it. It's just weird that they do it now when I've had the video up for over what, like over a year. Uh, that sucks. Why don't you try to appeal it? They said it was for uh, violent content or something, but isn't there like much worse on YouTube? Like, I don't understand. Yeah, there's like videos of uh, like. You know, teenage punks is beating the shit out of each other and stuff. Right. That's why I don't get it. They and especially like, like millions uh, of views. People are like, yeah, world star. I kick, feel like it's kick not him fair. in the head. He's blacked out. Everybody kick him now. Yeah. I looked at the guidelines. I don't think it's in violation of, especially like. Maybe it's because you were streaming when you're driving and then you had that wreck and then it was like, this is unsafe or something. I don't know. I mean, was it the I, I original video of it? Yeah, the original video. But w if, if that's the case, and all the media outlets that use that clip, how come they can keep theirs up, but like mine gets striked? Well, you, I should, didn't, you should appeal. They didn't even ask my permission. That, by the type way, type that in the pill. They didn't even ask me. Well, <laughs> you should team up with a media com a licensing company like Jukin Media or something, and then they can make claims on all those videos and get you some revenue. Yeah, because I mean, they didn't even ask me. They, they just used my clip. They and usually they, I'm do the like, one. They usually do. I'm like the creator. 70, I get punished. They usually they, do. They usually take it. like thirty percent. Still, it's better than zero percent. Yeah, which right. I have now. You'll get. Well, you'll get. <laughs> they take thirty percent. That means you'll get seventy percent. That's that's fine with me. I just, I don't know. I'll, I'll talk. To, I'll, I'll send the message to you team youtube about it or something but you could use me as a referral to juke and media i have a the haircut video partnered with them oh shit i'll check it out juke and media yeah because <clears throat> like what about that they stuff when you were on that. the they could probably fix that because they're like a big media agency they're like connected with fail army too so you uh... could you could possibly be on some fail army videos too <laughs> I'm on a I'm on a bunch of them, but they never credit me. I'm on a bunch That's of cool. like fell army videos where they use like a portion of my haircutting haircut video. Yeah, I think I've seen some of they that. They got like I eight or nine million that. views, some of them, and they didn't even credit me. Like, go check out Burger Planet or anything, you know? It was like they were able used, to get some. They even uh, used revenue me for, for the that? thumbnail. No, because they because if they use it for like promotional reasons, I don't get money on that. Oh man, some bullshit, but. I guess it's exposure. I mean, it hasn't done anything for my channel, but people are laughing I mean, at it's me still out there. Cool. Yeah, I guess it's still <laughs> out there. People are laughing at my misery. It's pretty great. I mean, it's still a cool video, I guess. <laughs> you should do an edit where you're like, because you did a stream where you're all like banged up and do like a little edit of that, the car crash, like, and then your message is like, <laughs> don't stream and drive. And then, like, you know, because you, you did, didn't you do a live stream where you're all, like, beat up in the hospital and shit? Yeah, I, I, maybe some I should of that take too. that down, too. I'm no, don't that take that down. Strike. No, that's not going to get striked. But use some of that footage and make a little edit of, like, this is why you shouldn't, you should always pay attention. Like, don't use your cell phone when you're dr driving and stuff or something. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> it's a good message. You almost died. <laughs> Yeah, I know, and it's kind of fucked up that I get, like, striked for three months for that. Like, what the hell? Yeah, you, I almost yeah, died. You'd man. think the car accident and the pain you <laughs> suffered, like, you learned your lesson enough, you know? Yeah, I guess. How many things did you break in your body after that? Like, what was the what was the uh, consequences of that crash? You had a semi uh, hit you. How fast do you think the semi was going, too? It looked pretty fast. Like It, it was going pretty fast, 40 man. or 50 miles an hour? At least. At least. At least 40, Did your car say. flip and do any barrel rolls or anything? Um, well, the, it got pushed really far. The skid marks are still all there. You've went back to uh, the site since then? Yeah, because it was at a studio. Uh, that I, It was near a studio that I was leaving, and actually... Did some work for them later on 
And I kind of stopped because I was like, you know, this is kind of fucked up having to drive past the site where I almost died every day. You know what? That was uh, around the time when you were staying over here, Burger, when I was working with that producer guy and I was coming home all tired and shit. And I'm like, oh, man, like, yeah, I don't even know if I want to do you this. You told me not to talk about your gay porn career, though. <laughs> <laughs> I promise I wouldn't mention it. I don't know. You brought it up. Why do you that say studio. Burger? Hey, uh, man, was... that's a good way to get into the industry. No, I was building sets for like <laughs> movies and stuff. Nice. I mean, I didn't say what you were doing. You were just a fluffer. It's not like you were doing anything too crazy. <laughs> it's an important job. I wish I would have got was... that job. <laughs> I wanted yeah, that just... job. <laughs> and as and after working on production on like the the production side where you're actually doing like hard work all day, I it really made me appreciate background work and I was like, man, I got to get back to doing that. Like... Yeah, this is way easier to make more money. And... <laughs> yeah, exactly. I make more money and less responsibility. Let's just do that. Less and chance get... of cutting my fingers off with a power saw. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, work smarter, not harder. So, yeah, I'm just focusing on that. And... That's what I'm doing. Oh. I'm working smarter, <laughs> and I've made $0 so far, so it's totally paying off. <laughs> <laughs> we still got revenue from views and stuff. No, yeah. probably the music I played will take that money. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Even when I play my friend's music that I, he told me I could play it and stuff, it's... His shit's like content ID. You know, it takes my revenue too. It's like, fuck. I yeah, can play my friend know. Jesse's music, but he's got so many songs that I have to make a big compilation. I haven't taken the time to do it. Yeah, it's off putting. Yeah, to... I know. Dim's the brakes. Yeah, with the I guess I could just like. Stuff. Well, the thing is, I need like songs that are really long. So, like the ones from YouTube, I'd have to do a compilation of them and stuff. And put a bunch together. I guess I could do that, but I just haven't. Yeah. Mm. I was thinking of doing something like that, like a cool montage video. Um. <clears throat> Did you get married to your fiance yet? Yeah. Yeah, it happened. Uh, I would have invited you, but you were out of state. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> I was there in spirit. <clears throat> But there's a stream of it on my channel. Uh, well, I had two weddings. I had a Catholic wedding and then I had a Jewish wedding like uh, a few days later. And uh, I live streamed the Jewish one so people can see that. Oh, nice. How was that? Uh, it was cool. It was nice, you know. Did they, um, did they circumcise you again or anything? Or? No, 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 none of that. <laughs> Let's clip it. Just take a little more off the top. Not too much. I've stretched out my last circumstance. We're going to redo the bris. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, yeah, I was circumcised too. I didn't have a choice, but I don't know. It was supposed to yeah. curb uh, masturbation, but God, I'd hate to know how much I would masturbate if I did have foreskin. <laughs> it didn't seem to work much. Yeah, I didn't have a choice in it either, but I, I think it's probably better to be uh, circumcised. Well, I mean, that's all I know, so I'm going to go with that too. I guess yeah, it is. Exactly, sure. Exactly. <laughs> it's the way we do it in America. Genital mutilation, yes. We interviewed some guy that's really against circumcision and he's like on a campaign against it and that's like his passion in life is like on hey, here? Um it was on one of my videos at the Gay <clears throat> Pride Parade in Indianapolis. It's actually one of my vlog days, but Ah, uh, those good old vlog days. Ooh, I did four of them. It was wild. It was a wild week. <laughs> <laughs> no nut November. Is, I guess all women win that because they never have nuts. Women yeah, I'm not going to be participating in that. Yeah, what I'm about not... mustache? What is it? Mo? Isn't there a no? I thought it was no shave vimber or something. Yeah, I'm not participating in either of those. I'm doing the no shave vimber. I, ha I have to do the nut vimber because I just I get so pent up with frustration. <laughs> I need to release it. 
Yeah, I can't. Do, do the, you still the, masturbate the, now that you're ma- you're married, or is it like you're getting like, uh, like sometimes? No, still? there's just there's no need, you know. I mean, sometimes don't you just you're you know she's like having a headache or something, and you're like, you know what, I'm just gonna have to do this myself. No, no, not really. <laughs> That's good. You guys are truly in love. Yeah. That's well, good. We'll have an yeah, update yeah. after a year and see if that's still happening or if, it, yeah. <laughs> if it's if that's still a thing. Well, actually, I have been an update. Yes, I got a, a cyber skin stealth stroker. <laughs> no, 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 I never get that kind of shit. No. Oh, you should get a flashlight. It's awesome. It just takes some of the load off of the marital load, you know. No, that's just yeah. <laughs> Everyone should have a fleshlight, 18 and older. I'm going to say it. It's true. They're great. That's what you should be asking Santa for for Christmas, man. Why don't you try to get that kind of sponsorship, Burger? And they could, like, mold my butthole or something. <laughs> I think uh, Lena the Plug has one. She has a mold of her vagina and her butt. Oh, my God. They don't mold the inside. They would just make the inside all strange and weird sh- patterns and things that textures inside, but you, you still talk to uh, Adam Twenty Two and... all the time. We are so connected. He just liked one of my Twitter posts that I on one of his things the other day. Like we are oh, so man. connected. I said, I was like, man, I'm so tired of these little auto tune. Like, whack rappers, dude. When are you bringing Murder Planet back? It got say? three likes from other people, too. He didn't comment back, but we're super tight. <laughs> we're super tight. I have his number. I just don't message him much because, you know. He's a I'm busy just, man. Well, I just assume he's not going to message back like anyone else's <laughs> number. Like, yeah. Andy Brown or anyone else's number I've acquired. I, I do. And Danny Brown does have like a Thanksgiving show coming up. I was thinking about hitting him up and seeing if I could drive up to Detroit and hang out with him. Yeah, that'd be Shoot lit. That shot, man. That'd you be know? lit. That'd be awesome. Trevor knows, says he puts a cool. flashlight in his girlfriend's vagina before she, they have sex. You know, that's a nice. That's nice, I don't, Trevor. I don't see why? That sounds... is it even more realistic than the real thing. <laughs> Sounds unnecessary. <clears throat> oh, wait. Uh-oh. I just banned somebody. You want to give him the... Make it real easy for him? <laughs> Let, Let me, me make, make it, it real, real easy for you. you. You're, You're banned, banned, bud. You're banned, bud. Made it real easy for you. We got gotcha. you. <sighs> got him. Got him. Put another shrimp on the bobby. <laughs> nice. So, uh, well, what so else? Was, uh... You got any more questions you want to ask me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you ever going to come back to California to visit or something? I don't know. I just got so burnt out on it. There's some, uh, so many other places to live at for a while, you know? I don't want to just live. Oh, I feel that. I already lived there three years, sure. you know? I think, I'm think i thinking maybe my next place is going to be Austin. I just hit up D. Kane today on Twitter, and he said if I come down there, hit him up. So I am I slid into his DMs, and yeah, I'm probably hanging out with D. Kane. And you, so, you would like popping. Austin. Cost Probably. of living is very, very low. Mm. It's a very don't they have no sales tax there? Big, I I don't know. I don't know that. Much. I don't think they have sales tax in Texas or something. Lots of barbecue, perfect for keto. You know, I've been doing the keto lately. I'm not super strict, but I'm like oh. I do it like eighty percent. I try to do like around eighty percent. What do you stay under twenty net carbs or twenty total carbs? I, I try to avoid them as much as I can. I just, I mean, once in a while. Well, you need to stay under 20 carbs to go into ketosis. That's how it works. You need, Your body needs to go into ketosis. Wait, so you actually need carbs? Or you, that's no, as you much need to go as you to can t- have? 
Yeah, you don't want to go over 20 carbs or I, 20 net carbs. With net oh, carbs, I don't. you subtract the fiber I, and the sugar alcohols from the carb number. I didn't even know you could go that high. That's pretty good. When I lost most of my weight, I stayed under 20 total carbs a day. I didn't do net carbs. But... Yeah, I've been doing that lately, but I'm going to end soon because it's just too hard to do. Keto so bad for it. Hey, Trey, you know. I, there's probably things you do that I don't just I don't agree with, you know. I don't go down to where you you work and slap the dick out of your mouth and tell you how to do your job. So, yes. you know, don't tell me how to do my keto. Okay, thank you. But my uh, my wife has been supportive of it. She's it's pretty cool because she started making this like keto bread for me, and you use a uh, almond flour? almond flour. Yeah. Nice. And she made this pumpkin one that was pretty good. Very cool. That's nice that she's trying to help you out. She doesn't want yeah. you to turn into a large fat man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She's like, let's start now. He's a project. Uh, he's a fixer, <laughs> fixer upper. <laughs> well, even just for like my work, like in order to maintain the roles, like I have to like. They try don't to want lose people weight. that are too fat in the background. It's- yeah, exactly. Like, well, I don't wanna... I'm sorry. This fatty's blocking the shot from the other <laughs> in the background. It's just like too distracting, you know, if, if, to put a fat guy in a scene. You 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 automatically go your eyes focus on the fat guy because he's interesting, you know. So yeah, put the camera on him. He's fat. <laughs> he's hilarious. Let's put him so... on the front. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it automatically makes the scene kind of funny. You know, it's like, oh, it's the fat guy in the scene. <laughs> yeah. That guy's not getting laid. <laughs> <laughs> so it could be distracting sometimes, you know. So it's just, I don't know. It's just, I find I get more work when I maintain my weight. So I'm Fat just... people do oftentimes try to steal the show. It is true. Yeah. And I started running every morning. I'm doing a little bit of, well, it's more like jogging. I wouldn't say it's running, but... Trying to, you know, get in shape and stuff. So Nice. So who knows? Maybe when my channel's back up in three months, I can do like a before and after video and I'll be like all in shape. That would be like... You can still upload on your channel, can't you? No, I can't even comment on the community tab. I can't upload anything. Yeah, you should appeal it's... that shit, bro. I would have appealed that like automatically. I-, I did. I just haven't heard anything back. It's just really weird. We'll team up with Jukin Media and they can <laughs> probably fix it for you. Yeah, I'm going to check that out. You just well, hit up their website and you can upload the video on there. Yeah, I need to get one of those uh, those networks. Those YouTubers are always talking about. I need like a team, a YouTube team or something. Hmm. You need a team? Well, you know, they, call, they say the networks. Like the people that you said, they help license your stuff and... Help you get unbanned. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, team up with them on that video. Yeah. I like ri- I like cycling. I like riding my bike on trails and stuff and around the city. Oh, that's great exercise. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of sketchy in LA though, but there's some biking trails probably better. Yeah, yeah. It's, I don't even jog on the boulevard. I just jog like a little bit above or below, you know? You're but... just running for meth heads? Yeah, I just Leave no, me I, alone. I no, I jog so early in the morning they're all still asleep. They all sleep in, you know. They don't wake up till like noon. They'll still be in their sleeping bags. Oh, but when they wake up, they wake up. <laughs> Ready I mean, I hear them yelling outside my window till like four in the morning. No, so that's like... Dom making his videos. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I sometimes I hear him in the morning. He's got this. Uh, those loud speakers. Did you hear whenever they had that like marching band outside in that parking lot and they've had the like cheerleaders yeah. and stuff out there and I have a clip of that on my Instagram, yeah. I was right across yeah. He puts just Craigslist ads up and people show up for the to be oh, on David is that Dobert's. where he did it? 
Yeah, he just puts up Craigslist ad and people want to be in David Dobrik vlogs and stuff. Yeah, I realized like this past year, like I should have started following like David Dobrik. I was I'm leech I was leeching off the wrong people, bro. Yeah, you were leeching been... off me. You should have leeched <laughs> off someone famous. I should have been leeching off the vlog squad, man. Yeah. Like... Well, yeah, you were leeching off CX. I know. I should have like... leeched off those people too. Damn it. Like, I'm damn it, why back. am I leeching off people with hundreds of thousands of views when I could be leeching off people with, like, 10 mil views? Like, it's just... What was what were we thinking, man? You, you know? dreamed too small. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. I wish I would have never gotten in cahoots with that ice piss either. Oh, man. Yeah. Waste hey, of time. You filmed for me at the boxing UFCX2. Yeah, that was cool. Like, that was some good times. Like, stuff like that. Yeah, I like the more fun. community events where he wasn't, like, picking on everybody and stuff, you know? Where it wasn't like, okay, I'm going to torture people. Yeah. Burger, I got to go in a minute, actually. Okay. Um, some phone calls to attend to. But, hey, it was cool talking to you, man. Yeah, man, I'm glad fun. you're doing well. And uh, can't wait to hear your new updates. Maybe when some of these projects go live, you can talk about them later. Yeah, man, let's – maybe we can talk around the holidays. Can't or wait so. to see, yeah. see the new Schmim Jerry – movie or <laughs> project yeah yeah <laughs> we go in man later chat all right see you buddy all right we got foggy mcgee in here hey foggy mcgee oh he came out of the thing as soon as i drag him in all right guys let's get some more people give it up for lame duck g that was fun the applause is there You guys having a good night? If you do like my streams and the effort I put into editing and prime cuts and the different things I do, please consider donating. Streamlabs.com slash BurgerPlanetLive1. A little goes a long way. I know it's the holidays, but even $3, that helps put some gas in the tank for future videos. And I'm also trying to get a better van because my van is actually blowing in fumes into the van it has a leak and it blows the exhaust fumes into the van when i drive with the heat on so it's i'm concerned i might die from carbon monoxide poisoning there's a rogue mod who's the rogue mod there's only like four people modded who's the rogue mod you guys always say there's a rogue mod and then you're like oh mod more people you know have you, is, are people getting timed out a bunch? I don't have the mod bot on for Streamlabs bot. So if someone is getting timed out, I don't know why. Yeah, I got that turned off. Word protection. You got it off. I'll turn it on. Refresh and I'll turn it back off. Let's see if that does anything. M maybe you guys are trolling too. Sometimes people are trolling saying they're timed out when they're not. I don't know what, what to believe. Let's get some jams. Well, I think I'm going to take a little break. And uh, put on a Josh McCutcheon show episode, and then I'll be right back with Murder Planet. So uh, you don't want to miss that. I think we're gonna do some freestyles and whatnot, because I know we're gonna do that because that's what I have planned. <laughs> Let's watch this video, and uh, we'll be back right after these, right after this break. Don't go away. <laughs> I'm Josh McCutcheon. I'm here in Central Park reporting for the New York City Marathon. Today I'm going to be interviewing some of the world's top athletes. So you know what that means. I better start training. Come on, let's do it.
What would make a person want to run 26.2 miles? Normally I do trail runs for 250 k's in eight days, so this is just a bit of training. What are you running from? Are you running from your fears? Are you running to conquer your achievements? People which don't have the same possibility to do it, sick people. What does this do thing do? Know where I'm from or not? Holland, yeah, so we continue because I'm going back for the coffee. What's up? I just qualified for the Olympic trials. I just feel great. Did you run all the way here today? Uh, no, no, I took a plane. So you are human after all. I had to take a crap at mile 18 went to the porta potty for about 30 seconds. What are you thinking in your mind? Your body's exhausted. What keeps you going? Positive thoughts, because when you get down on yourself, your muscles actually like cramp up. And actually, I was smiling a lot, so it helped me relax. And I look dumb, but it's okay, because I want to run fast. Does it ever get like extremely euphoric when you're running? Pretty much, yeah. I mean, you can get really delirious. When I was smiling out there like a weirdo, that's a runner's high. That's a runner's high. Positive. Thoughts. Positive. You just ran the marathon, congratulations! Thank you very much. How do you feel right now? Pretty much like I've been running on concrete for 26 miles. Wow, that's crazy. I was training for a little while, about 100 miles a week. Did you get the bloody nipples? Uh, no, no, thankfully not. What kind of diet do you have to eat to get prepared for a race like this? 26 miles, that's grueling on your body. A lot of carbs, water, a lot of just stuff. Is it more variety in terrain than other marathons you've ran? Yeah, a little hilly. It's tough. Let's do a little action thing with their feet for the camera. <laughs> How was it? It's very hard. <laughs> the hardest part was the Queensboro Bridge. It's a bridge that you go under, it's like a tunnel, and it was completely silent. That was pretty tough, but when you came out of the Queensboro Bridge, it was amazing because the fans were just unbelievable. What keeps you going? Well, I knew I had my aunt at a certain mile, and Jesse, and my sister-in-law, and my brother, and my girlfriend, and my mom and dad. And the Tin Man and the Scarecrow. Do you ever get that crazy runner's high where you're all like, whoa, what's going on? You get jelly legs. The Tigger was apparently running behind me. In the zone. <laughs> I did a minute bit faster than last year, personal record, so for me, so good. What keeps you going? The crab. The crab does. You have any kind of secret that gives you superpowers? <laughs> I eat pancakes before the race. You ever get those crazy psychedelic feelings? Run as high, yeah, you get that, sure. The squirrels start talking to you when you're in the park and stuff, like, Come on, man, run faster! No, no delusions. <laughs> Delusions. Future technology shoes from the future. What exactly are these, sir? These are my power jumpers. They are great for exercise, tremendous for workout, jump four feet. Scientific shoes from the future. <gasps> I'm so exhausted. Oh my god, you couldn't have run wearing that the whole race. <laughs> uh, what keeps you going? I think it's just a mind over matter. There's only six miles left. Just kind of think in your head, it's one more daily loop. It's just a mind game. It really is, because your body's done. And you don't want to look bad in front of the crowd, so you just, you'll never stop. <laughs> How long do you think you'll sleep tonight? A good nine hours. <laughs> I'm here with Suave Amir. It's amazing that people are so, it's are so, so, so supportive. Right? Supportive, yeah. It's helped me. It's wonderful. We run the ultra marathons just in Alps, very high. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I, I run 80 kilometers one time on the mountain. So you're basically like a superhero. <laughs> oh, no, it's normal. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have on your legs? You got these interesting things. What does that do? Kinesiology taping. It was discovered by one Japanese man. It gives me the relaxation of the soft tissue. Does it have any kind of chemical or thing in it that goes in your leg? It's cotton uh, tapes with uh, glue. Wow, that's like some future technology. <laughs> some brown stuff on your lips. Yeah. So we tell you that. Whoa! What kept you going? All those miles, all those workouts. Today's the day it pays off. You know, it's for the glory. You have so many friends and family out there watching you. you gotta do it for them. Oh, actually, the answer we're looking for was Powerade. We're sponsored by Powerade, the power that keeps you going. Power it. You're just like in the groove and the forest starts talking to you and they're like, you can do it. Never had that happen to me, no. No, absolutely not. Oh, you weren't running on acid then, my bad. Not running on acid, no. We don't really do too much acid on Sun Island, to be honest. Maybe that's for tonight, I don't know. <laughs> it's more cocaine and that kind of stuff, you know. Did you see Edward Norton out there? He's probably still running. Yeah, a little baby. Probably has like some people carrying him across the finish line. It's likely, yeah. I'm Josh McCutcheon, nice to meet you. Hey, we got like the double mic thing going on. Whoa, we're doing the Smackdown Extreme Style. I'm here interviewing this ASICS correspondent, supermodel, obviously. Do you get free shoes? Yeah, of course. My show doesn't give me free anything. <laughs> well, do you like ASICS? I'm actually wearing Saucony. Don't show the shoe, don't show it. I'll burn them. <laughs> 
I don't need them. No, you don't need them. Now I'm lopsided. We've been interviewing a lot of runners, talking to them about their psychedelic visions on their quest, asking them why they run. What makes a person want to run 26 miles? I don't understand it. 42.195 kilometers. That's crazy. That's even a bigger number. Yeah, I know. It sounds bigger. It does sound bigger. <laughs> Are you a good dancer? Yeah, I do. Well, my show, we always like to try to have like a sweet dance breakdown. We should. And you bump shake, ooh, ooh. And a booty, ooh, ooh. Maybe we could start our own like J pop band. <laughs> you should come to Jeff. I, I want to rock, baby, and roll with you. Baby, you know I do. I'm coming to get you, Japan. Oh, come to the Tokyo Marathon. Yeah? yeah. Can I stay with you? Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, I'm gonna go find my shoe because I don't know where it is. <laughs> awesome. Arigato. I think we got a good interview there. Any bump shit? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> JoshMcCutcheon.com Please be kind. Rewind. I was smiling out there like a weirdo. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on the yellow subscribe button. It just gets better and better, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>
I just want to live my life for Christ, for Christ. Live your life for Jesus. Live your life for Christ, Christ. Out of sync? Is it out of sync? Oh no, it shouldn't be out of sync. Is it out of sync? Good now. Hold on. Uh, you gotta kill your ego, kill your vanity. That's just the way you gotta be. You gotta kill your ego, gotta kill your vanity. That's the way you got to be. You gotta kill your ego, vanity. That's the way you got to be. You gotta kill your ego, kill your greed. Yeah. I never lived this life. Before I never thought that I would be poor no more. I'm not the prince, I'm the papa. I got the blues, I'm a world traveler. I'm cruising in this mansion through this life, this life. I'm cruising in this mansion in this life, this life. I want to cruise this mansion, this life. I want to cruise in this mansion, this life. Ooh. Ooh. Is it working? Jesse, can you hear me? Or are they destroying? It looks like it's working. Mic check. Hello? Can you hear me, Jesse? Oh, Jesse can hear me. They're trolling? You know what? I'm timing you out. You're getting it. Trey, you're getting timed out. Out of sync already. You're timed out. Dr. Manis, you're timed out. You're all timed out. You don't hear poop? Oh, what's, oh. I don't know, maybe those are old comments. I've never been this way before in love. I've never been this way before love. I've never been this way before in love Before I met you Ooh. I've never been this way before in love I've never been this way before in love I've never been this way before in love Before I met you Ooh. Ooh. 
rolling on a blunt, and I'm riding up to pick her up. Going to Chipotle for a day in November. Rolling up a blunt, gonna pick up my date. Gonna take her to Chipotle for dinner. Staying late. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, never felt this way before, and I'm in love, I never felt this way before, in love, I've never been this way before, in love. I never felt this way before in love with you 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 Sometimes I miss you so much Sometimes I wanna be with you so bad Sometimes I miss you So who edited this m compilation from YouTube? There was no fade, nothing, it just skipped. That was garbage. Vape niche. Twist it up, grind it up, smoke it up. Grind it up, roll it up, smoke it up. <coughs> Murder. <coughs> Woo! Yeah, this vape. 30 milligrams of nicotine salts, boys. Grind it up, roll it up, smoke it up. Grind it up, roll it up, smoke it up. Grind it up, roll it up, smoke it up. Get high. I used to be a jock in high school. I used to be Mr. Football Star. I used to be a manager at Carla. I used to be a tragic star. Now I roll it up, twist it up, smoke it up, get blunted. Roll it up, twist it up, smoke it up, get high. Roll it up, twist it up, smoke it up, get blunted. Grind it up, smoke it up, grind it, get high. Grind it, grind it, grind it, grind it, grind it, grind it. Grind it up, grind it up, grind it up, grind it up, la di da da da, la di da da da, la di da da da, la di da da da. La da da da. Grind it up, roll it up, twist it up, smoke it up. Get high. Grind it up, roll it up, smoke it up. Get high. Get high. Grind it up, roll it up, smoke it up. Getting blunted. Grind it up, roll it up, getting blunted. Grind it up, roll it up, smoke it up, twist it up. Grind it, roll it, smoke it. Get high, yeah, 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 yeah. I get high, high, high. La da 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 da, la da 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 da, la da 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 da, 
da 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 Grind it up, roll it up, smoke it up, get wounded. Grind it up, roll it up, twist it up. Yep, grind it up, roll it up, twist it up, get blunted. Grind it up, roll it up, twist it up, get high. Get high. Get high. All I do is get high. All I do is get high. All I do is get by. All I do is need to try. All I do is get high. All I do is need to try. All I do is get by. All I do is try in life again. Try again in life. I am the Eggman, I am the Walrus. Coo coo choo, coo 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 choo. I am the Eggman, I am the Walrus. Coo 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 choo, coo 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 choo. I'm the Eggman, I'm the Walrus. Coo 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 choo. Look at you, fool. Bring it out on the dance floor. Get it on the dance floor. Bring it on the dance floor. Yeah. Bring it out on the dance floor. Bring it to the dance floor. Get it on the dance floor. Get it on the floor. Get it on the floor. Get it, get it on the floor. Get it, get it on the floor. On the dance floor. Get it, get it on the floor. Get it on the floor. Get it, get it on the floor. On the dance floor. Get it down. Get it on the floor, get it, get it on the floor, get it, get it on the floor, on the dance floor, get it, get it on the floor, get it, get it on the floor, get it, get it on the floor, on the dance floor, get it on the floor, get it, get it on the floor, get it, get it on the floor, on the dance floor. Get it on the floor, get it, get it on the floor, get it, get it on the floor, on the dance floor. Yeah, 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 This is all the haters, you can kiss my ass Cause I do what I like in this life If you don't like it, take a hot jack Get the fuck, don't let the door hit you Where the good laws snitch ya Get the fuck out, all you haters Fuck you, I do what I want with my life You entitled millennial fucks Get the fuck off the dance floor Cause you're about to get motherfucked up Cause you stepped on me you're about to learn some respect, cause you stepped on me. I'm about to get you by the neck, and you fuck with me. You're about to get the murder planet, cause I'm bout it, If you gotta get it, come and get it, motherfucker. Cause you fuck with the wrong one, and you fuck with me. Cause you about to get the murder planet. Don't fuck with me, cause I'm a real one. Motherfucker, come and get it. If you want it, I'm on the dance floor. Ooh. Fighting on the dance floor. Forts on the dance floor. Ooh. Fighting on the dance floor. Ooh. Bring it on the dance floor. Don't fuck with me. 
got a problem, then you're gonna get respect from me. You gotta come and get fucked up. You fuck with the raw one, son. I'm murder pen and body batter, cause I got a big one. And you got a little one. Fuck you, bitch. Coming to me, cause you know I'm motherfucking filthy rich. Cause I'm all living in a mansion. Why you living in a little river by the car? And you're living in the car. And you at the bar drinking PBR. Cause you won't get very far with that logistics. Cause you got a toothpick for a dick. Fuck you. You got nothing between your ears Got no brains, your brain dead You fuck with me, fuck the wrong one Cause I'm murder planet, son Fuck with me, you pick the wrong one Cause I'm murder planet, son And you gonna get fucked up You fuck with me, you fuck with the wrong one I'm murder planet, and ain't fuck with me Cause you're about to get punk ass, bitch Cause you fuck with me, fuck with the wrong one I'm motherfucking alpha I'm the Chad Burger Oh, murder planet, I'm a motherfucking planet. I'm murder planet, I'm motherfucking murder planet. Thank you. That's the one that goes out to the haters. Some people just complain I don't give a fuck about your problems Some people just complain I don't give a fuck about your problem I don't wanna hear about your fucking problems anymore Girl You got too many problems, you a trick bitch And you fucking with me, I'm not gonna lick your cliff Don't know what you got going on Cause I don't give a fuck about your problems anymore You got too many issues She got too many crazy things in her heart She turns into the wolf man after dark This bitch is scary Harrier than tell me This bitch was loco for loco She was fucking insane I don't give a fuck about your problems Back it up Back it up Pack it up Twist it up Back it up Back that thing up girl Back that thing up, mama. Oh, back that thing up, girl. Back that thing, mamacita. Mamacita, mucho, mucho fuego. Mamacito, moto, mucho fuego. Mamacita, mucho, mucho fuego. Mamacita, mucho, moto fuego. Moto, mucho fuego. Mucho fuego, caliente. Yo no, I'm no lucho, lucho. Crazy vatos locos. And I'm mad crazy cause I'm a crazy goat Crazy goat Mamacita 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 I timed you out, G Cause I'm tired of you bitching about shit So whatever you complained about last time You didn't learn shit And you came back and complained about it again, man Get over it It's a new fucking day Maybe you got a bad attitude. Maybe that's why you got banned. Maybe there was a reason. If you got a problem, I don't got... Here we go. If you got a problem, I got a fix. If you got an issue, suck on this dick. If you got a problem, I got a fix. If you got issue, suck on this dick. I got one problem with you, fuck you, got a problem with me, I don't give a fuck about your issues, you never gonna fucking get to me cause, oh, I'm a fucking content police issue, oh, you know you're gonna get mad crazy, getting swayzy, switch to swayzy, 
you know you're gonna get mad fucked up If you come in here talking that motherfucking shit, fuck up I don't come to where you work and slap the dick out of your hand Don't come at me with your problems, man I don't give a fuck, I'm trying to have fun If you don't like it, then you can suck my gun Ooh, suck my gun, suck my gun Mother! Me, 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 murder <laughs> Blowing fat clouds of vape smoke. Getting mad crazy on the dance floor. Blowing fat clouds, getting fucked up. And I'm getting wild on the dance floor. Oh. Oh yeah, ah oh, yeah, ah oh, yeah, ah oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Smoking my jewel till I pass out. Smoking my smock till I fuck up. My dial bronchitis, cause I don't give a fuck. I don't hide it. Big nation. Vape them if, if you got them. Vape Nation. Vape them if you got them. Vape Nation. Vape them if you got them. Vape Nation. Vape Nation. Blowing fat clouds. I'm getting down. How you like me now? Got a mansion. You jealous? I got some passion. You feel it? I got so many bins I'm so rich I got plenty of them money fame and fortune murder planet I got extra if you need it ooh I don't need to run my tell a story I'm at the store I'm not in any hurry getting down finding a clearance aisle how you, how you like, like me now, now? All right, this one goes out to Bernie Sanders. Bernie, Bernie Sanders. Bernie, Bernie Sanders. Bernie, Bernie Sanders. Bernie, Bernie Sanders. Gonna give you free health care. He's gonna give you so much. Socialism's pretty cool. If you open your mind much, redistribution of the wealth. That's the way I know you do it. There's too many one percenters. Too many people living in mansions. You feel me? Bernie, 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 Bernie Sanders. Bernie, 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 Bernie. Bernie, Bernie Sanders. He's Bernie, he's Bernie, he's Bernie, he's Bernie, he's Bernie, he's Bernie, Bernie Sanders. Bernie, Bernie, he's Bernie, he's Bernie, he's Bernie. He's not gonna take my vape away. Bernie said we could smoke weed every day. Bernie, you my homie. You're like the cool grandpa I never had. I love you, homie. Bernie. Bernie, 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 Bernie. Gimme, 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 Bernie. Bernie, 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 Bernie. Gimme, gimme free shit. Bernie, 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 Bernie. Gimme, gimme free shit. Bernie, 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 Bernie. Gimme all that free shit. Bernie Sanders. He's coming up in this bitch. Bernie Sanders. I'm down with him. He ain't no snitch. He didn't collude with Russia. He didn't collude with Ukraine. He didn't collude with Kim Jong-un. Fuck 
all that Trump shit. He's insane. Bernie, 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 Bernie. Give me, give me free shit. Bernie, 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 Bernie. Give me, give me free shit. Bernie, 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 Bernie. Give me, give me free shit. Bernie, 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 Bernie. Give me, give me free shit. Bernie Sanders for president 2020, y'all. Make sure you go out there and vote. This is not a drill. This is reality. It's time to wake up and change the world with your vote. Make sure to go and vote for the primaries and vote for Bernie for Democratic candidate. If you're Republican, switch to Democrat and vote for Bernie as well. Thank you. Thank you. I am Murder Planet, and this is not a paid sponsorship. This comes from passion and the heart of God, which lives inside my heart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Murder Planets. Technology, the future, what does it mean? Philosophy, technology, the future, what does it mean? Philosophy, what does it mean in the future? What does the future hold? What will they bring from the future? Aliens or ghosts? Technology, philosophy, the future, what will it bring? Technology, the future, what will it bring? Philosophy, technology, philosophy, the future, what will it bring? Cypherspace is voting for Bernie Sanders now, guys. Give him a murder. Give it to him. Mur, 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 murder. <laughs> it's not funny, guys. It's not funny. Bernie's awesome. It's not a joke. Time to go to Pop the Eye. You're right. Let's go. Yo guys, actually we do have a sponsor. I'm like I'm on the Trump bandwagon now. He just gave me one of his hats. That's all it takes, so make America gay again. Spelt gay rights. It's a message. Yeah. This one goes out to Eric. Cause we know he is in the closet and I want you to come out brother be proud of who you are Eric you don't have to be afraid the whole world knows you're gay Eric you don't have to be afraid the whole world knows you're gay Eric Trump you don't have to be afraid anymore Cause we know you're gay Eric Trump You don't have to be afraid no more The whole world knows you're gay The whole world knows you're gay When the whole world knows you're gay 
Not in a metaphorical way, literally gay. The whole world knows you gay. Not in a metaphorical way, the whole world knows you gay. Eric, be proud of who you are if you suck dick in the YMCA showers. You don't have to be afraid, just be proud and gay. Eric, if you're given hand jobs at the park after dark, you don't have to be afraid. Cause the whole world knows you're gay. The whole world knows you're gay. Just be proud today. The whole world knows you're gay. Just be proud, wave that flag proudly Yeah, don't worry about my pants Fuck that hater Eric, be proud who you are When the whole world knows you're gay Not in a metaphorical way The world knows you're gay be free and be proud the way you want to be gay, that's okay. It's 2019, everybody else is gay. Might as well be gay. Might as well be gay, yeah, yeah. We might as well all be gay. Yeah. All right. Bingo wings. Don't talk about my bingo wings. Gee, I wonder why you get no viewers with your trashy, edgy content. Get over it. Trump won. And he's going to win again. MAGA 2020. Bye bye Kev. Bye 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 Kev. Bye bye See you later. 200... 300 second timeout. Let me make it real easy for you. You're banned, bud. 300 second timeout. You brought it on yourself, Kev. Sorry. Go support Trump somewhere else. Bye bye. Maybe go raise your family for once, because. Do a pretty piss poor job of it. Ouch. Ooh, got him. I'm still a streamer. Apparently, that's what this is. So I've been informed this is a live stream. Blowing fat clouds, blowing smoke rings, letting my bat wings fly. Blowing fat clouds, blowing smoke rings, letting my bat wings fly. Fly away, my glory, let these juicy triceps fly away, oh glory, let these juicy triceps fly away. Best Saturday night you've ever had. I'm so sorry to hear, hear that, Dudley. I'm so sorry. That's... Well, thank you. I guess that's a compliment. Happy birthday. Dudley's having fun. We're in the fun zone now. This is like a fun party atmosphere. doing tonight on Saturday. It's 1 11 a.m. at 2 a.m. Remember to set your clock back an hour back to 1 a.m. I know it's really dumb but some dumb shit called daylight savings time. Everybody put your favorite Burger Planet moment or your favorite Prime Cuts character in the chat. I want to see what people like out there. We 
got to hear what the audience is thinking out there. Tell me what you're on your mind, audience. Do we got how many viewers we got now? More or less than a million. If it's less than a million, I'm turning this shit off. I mean, look at this. I'm waving my arms around in a dance-like fashion. This is interesting. This is cool. I can dab. I can dab. I can dab. That's is that still cool? Is that still cool, guys? When you ditched. Oh, I ditch. What time? When I ditched? Who did I ditch? When you were a part of CX News, I was CX News, Jack. Get that through your head. The Burger PUA pub pickup artist in the field. I'm sure you like that, John. Did it help you? Are you getting tons of babes now? The funny thing is, I don't actually pick up any babes. That was the joke of me being a pickup artist. Some people are just, it went whoosh right over their heads. They totally didn't get it, so. Idiots. I wouldn't expect them to to understand the fine nuances of fine meta comedy. My comedy's so from the future. I'm always 10 years ahead of myself. Pete Skeet says, Pete, pussy is weird anyway. Rather suck a dick, less complicated. There's a lot of full flesh folds in a vagina. Labia majora, labia minora, clitoris hood. There's a lot going on down there. It's, co it's complicated for a man. We know the penis. We know how we understand it. We understand how it works. All right, I only had two people in the chat. What do we got? Three people watching. What's going on? Where is everybody? Baba do, baba do, ba do do, ba do do. Guys, let's get the chat lit, or I'm gonna have to sign off. I know you guys don't like it when I leave, so it's an ultimatum. Get the chat lit, or else I'm turning it off. I'll do it too. I've done it before, a bunch of times chat is lit all right it's getting super lit it's getting lit now <laughs> mur, 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 murder planets <laughs> it's super awesome now it's a party it's a wild party in here now oh thank god <laughs> I'm on the brink of excitement and entertainment guys we're on the edge this is interesting keep it going we got one coming mind blown watcher must not be here why do you hate wine blown watcher so much alright then it's settled we're unmodding him we got too many complaints Just kidding, I modded him twice. <laughs> he's super modded now. <laughs> yes, he's super modded. He's double modded. I psyched you guys out. How you like that? S double super modded. Hey John, how are you? Hi Josh, the dead streamer. That's right, this is my funeral. I'm having it live on YouTube. Come say your respects. Thank you. <laughs> this isn't the roast session. That was a few months ago. It's not every chat. Some of you guys haven't figured that out. It's not nice. This is a hot beat. Guys, 
What do you guys want to know about streaming? What do you want to know about being a famous YouTuber who lives in my van? I'm here. I'm here to tell you guys about all of the life splendors. It's splendiferous. It's real nice. Everyone should become a YouTuber. It's so easy. It's a real like instant get rich quick scheme almost. Almost. It's so fast. The money just pours in, guys. I got $184 in my bank right now. Super loaded. Got zero donations this stream. Having a great time. You've been voted to MC the Rosa Piss Boy. Oh, wow. Yeah, I probably could do that better than most. Good call. I don't know. I might be double booked that day with Adam22. He's been trying to get me back on the show constantly, just all the time. The messages and stuff. I'm like, yo, chill, bro. That's not true. <laughs> You have a problem with either Nightbot and a rogue mod timing people out. I don't have Nightbot anymore. And I don't have that bot set up anymore, so I don't know what you're talking about, bud. You almost lost your V-card but couldn't find the hole, so she got mad and kicked me out. You might want to do some homework and figure out where the Volva is. That's what you're looking for. We got a rogue mod, oh no. Oh no. Rogue mod. Who is it? Who could it be? Oh my god, let's see if the rogue mod stopped. I don't know. I unmodded someone. Give it up for this guy. He almost lost his V card. That's right. This is a Christian broadcast. This is a Christian stream. Always has been. No sex before marriage, pal. You know the rules of Christ and Moses. Don't try it. You almost caught us with your wicked ways. You got timed out on two different accounts. I got a rogue mod. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This guy shouldn't have been. Oh wait, he is. I do have a rogue mod. He's banning a lot of all my best viewers. No shit, you guys are right. Not good. is awful yeah he's like banning everyone what the fuck who's doing this so many people banned my god Most of these people are assholes, though. Some of them. I just recognize some of the names. Somebody is banning people, though. You guys have done it. I'm unleashing Christina. She's unbanned. You brought it on yourselves. Unbelievable. Let's just unban everyone. Fuck it. We can't. I don't know who's been banned and who hasn't. God damn it. Release the gates of hell. Release the hounds of hell. We're gonna have to ban people again. What the fuck, man? Why do people keep fucking with my channel? It's like they're trying to like ban everyone so that people don't watch. 
fucking asshole. I don't know who's doing it, but they need to knock it off. I unmodded someone, so we'll see if that fixed it. Maybe they were the rogue mod the whole time. Who knows? I don't know. Damn, Rogue Mod got me down. Gotta unban these fools. I'm leaving Carlos Martinez ban though, he's annoying. sucks. Some of these people may be banned, they're just dickheads. Every time. Oh, they banned Robert too? Fuckers. Goddamn assholes. Whoppity whoppity whop. Of hell have been un unleashed. Oh, they banned John 7 too. I'm glad I'm doing this. Actually, a lot of these people are really cool. Alright, let's see if that fixes it. Oh no, I unbanned the wrong person. See if that's better. I can now. There's less people banned to it. Keep an eye on it now. Why is there so many rogue mods? Why are there so many rogue mods? I don't know. People were just assholes, I guess. I don't know why. Don't come over here promoting people. Timed out. Wow, great content. Thank you. Well, I was unbanning people because I had some rogue mod. All right. We fixed it, though. We're back. You'll be good today? Okay. Hopefully. Hopefully. Were you born in 1977? Damn, you're older than me. You old, bro. I've been just living my life my way. I've just been living my life this way. Whatever, you guys just want me to like unmod all my biggest supporters to like fuck with me. Whatever. Un un quit spamming my chat, dude. Never saw so much e-begging. Well, stick around, it's gonna get worse. Yeah, it's been paying off too, because I've made zero dollars. This sucks, it does suck. Why don't you go live, we'll go watch you. Sit in your pajamas, eating cereal. <laughs> Let's go watch that. Let's watch this guy. Base something or other. He's probably got some good shit going on over there. All right, everybody type one in the chat. Let's see who's not banned now, okay? Let's see if like more people have been added to the ban list too since then. 
Oh yeah, more people have been banned. What the fuck? What is going on with this shit? It banned RioTube now. The fuck? Somebody's still banning people. The fuck? Wonder if it's that Chris Jackson guy that he's like a rogue mod. I don't know. Let me just take out everybody from the mod thing. Could be Streamlabs bugging out, but I don't have it set to ban anybody. I don't have any moderators now, so I don't know. Should be fixed now, hopefully. I don't know. I hit up YouTube about it. They couldn't fix it. See if that fixed it. I unmodded everyone now. I don't know if it's gonna work. Eating ice cream with frosted flakes. That sounds pretty good, actually. Ooh, you know it'd be good to put some pumpkin spice or cinnamon on that. It'd probably be really nice. I like Cheerios though. They stick crunchier longer in the milk. Frosted flakes just get so soggy so fast. I don't like that. I like the crunch. Dude, I don't care what Captain Content's doing, man. Who cares? I don't have any thoughts about it. I don't know. He's doing his stream. I'm doing mine. Who gives a shit? I don't care what the motherfuckers all out there are doing. Kind of out of ideas at the moment. Can you guys hear me over this beat? Is that better? I turned down a little bit. Is that better? Is that better? Hello? Oh, he's just another streamer. You can go check him out if you want. Apparently he's with a transgender person at the hotel or something. I don't know. Breaking news, apparently. Let's all go check it out, I guess. I don't know. I don't give a shit. I'm just hanging out. I'm just chilling with my home dogs. I look like a wannabe loser. Thank you. That is nice. That is really cool. Thank you so much. That's great. You look like someone who is timed out. You're timed out. Let me make it real easy for you. You're banned, bud. For 300 seconds. Timed out. We got him, boys. Murder planets. <laughs> He's a CX reject. Yeah, he does try to leech from the CX overflow. That's true. John, some and Duder, sorry somebody banned you, man. I don't know. I got a rogue mod or some shit. I don't know. I unmodded everyone for now. People keep just getting added to the ban list. I don't know. It seemed to have stopped. I don't know who it was, but I have no moderators now. Let me see if I put in Streamlabs bot. See if it starts or stops again. Then we'll know if it's Streamlabs bot or someone else or a rogue mod. We don't know. Is it a rogue mod? We don't know.
Well, I don't like it when people spam things over and over again. As well. Some of you guys have picks. It doesn't... I don't see anybody in the picks. Black Swan doesn't have a pick on my screen. Do you see one? I don't know. Maybe it's different on phones or something. I don't see a pick for Duder. John's got a pick. Miss GPD. Russ Scattered Sun Drummer. Grandmaster B. You accidentally hit enter twice. Well, you're copying and pasting stuff. Enter, hitting enter twice wouldn't do that. You told me you didn't do anything wrong. I just said, what's up? Oh, well, I had a rogue mod, I guess. G. I I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes people say that, and then they did something, said some annoying shit. Yeah, you were being, you did overstep your boundaries. Well, I appreciate your apology. It is Duder. Duder was never a mod. Well, he's a mod. He used to be a mod a long time ago. G's been watching since you nowadays, actually. He's an OG. You guys want to watch another Josh McCutcheon show? I think I need a break, and I want to take this do-rag off. Marshall, she was the winner from Project Runway. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. How would you describe your fashion line this season? It's much more sophisticated, more glamorous, and it's very much inspired by my move to New York City. Someone was telling me that you're inspired by origami and the shapes and flows of the patterns and shapes. Yeah, definitely shapes and things and stuff and shapes. No. For this collection, I used the, the city skyline and, and that architecture, and I interpreted those shapes in several of the garments. Kind of that horizon skyline that you see of buildings over and over and over again and that kind of layering. What was it like being on a reality TV show though? Was that like bonkers? It was crazy. An incredible experience. I get to meet Tim Gunn and Heidi Klum and hang out with them and a wonderful runway show at Bryant Park. That was the experience of a lifetime. That's so huge for a young fashion designer. It's like your dream. You're working in school and then holy cow, I'm uh, being judged by all these great people and meeting these connections. Do you think the producers maybe set up situations to kind of add a little bit more stress to the environment? I think that on a lot of different reality shows yes but it shows like Project Runway shows like Top Chef you know you really see it's about people who are passionate about what they do and what they want to be producers don't step in and meddle and try to create drama or at least not in my experience so it's not quite like the real world then no no not at all like the real world thank god Paris Hilton's newest BFF Paris's dog's fashion your dog has the cutest shoes though oh my gosh do you think that you could design an outfit I would refuse to, to do that. I heard that thing's not even housebroken. It just like goes to the bathroom in her house and stuff. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, she probably isn't housebroken either. What was it like being on TV? Was this your first experience? Yeah, this is definitely the most intense thing I've ever done. And it's kind of surreal not to be able to go places without being recognized. It's all good. Kind of surreal, kind of like this. You see that? It was crazy. Uh, it was amazing. It was an illusion. It really was. That didn't happen. No, I didn't think so either. Was it a fierce competition? You had fun with Leanne. You guys probably bonded. You know, you still wanted to win. Of course. You know, you, it, it's, you know I did it for the exposure. Yeah, it would have been great to win, but I made it through 11 episodes. I'm super proud of Leanne. Her collection's beautiful. Now, if you get a big deal from this, are you going to buy a big fancy car and something nice? Are you going to start spoiling yourself? You should get, like, a horse or a llama or something. Yeah, but I'm in the city work so much so it's hard to leave them but I would love to have a llama. We have so much in common. What does it all mean? Wonder heart power activate. Form the heart. Shape of the heart on. Heart on. <laughs> heart on. <laughs> Mr. Busy, too much 
I'm here with Stella Zotas. Word is on the street. You are a fashion designer and you work with leather a lot. I do work with leather, basically. I do custom pieces, one of a kind. It's not really fashion what I do, although it is. It's more style. It's style. Did you make your ensemble that you're wearing right now? It's awesome. You sew the leather? Yeah. Oh, wow. Very good fit. I like the stitching. What do you think about Leanne's work? It's not leather. I like it because I love the colors. They're very majestic and royal, and I like the silhouette. It's a lot different than her runway collection. This I really, really love a lot. Let's play some bad brains. So if I buy the dress, does the mannequin come with it? If you buy the dress as a mannequin, yeah, you gotta pay an extra $500 for it. And then she's mine! Is it pretty cool seeing yourself on TV and print ads just different places like, oh, that's me, but wait a minute, I'm me, but I'm there, but I'm here. Yeah, it's interesting, I guess. Maybe one day. <laughs> Boxers or briefs? Boxer briefs. If you were a race car, what kind of race car would you be? I like, 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 pickup trucks. What's your favorite kind of sneaker? You gotta go with my Nikes. What did you do this winter? Did you go skiing? Did you, did you, did you done anything extreme, like long jumping or? <laughs> well, when I did track and field, I did long jumping. But I did go skydiving last year, so that's pretty extreme. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Is it really scary? No, it was amazing. It was the most, like, lifting, like, freeloading thing ever. I like to smile, I like to talk to people. Me being some, like, serious model person just isn't me. Awesome. I was on Project Runway with all these guys, so it was probably, like, five seconds of my face every episode, but, I don't know, it's like, oh, there she is! My mom, mom, mom was pausing it on the TV. It was cool. It was really cool. I remember the first time I was on TV. It was aw awesome. Was it awesome? It was yeah, aw awesome. Awesome. Yes. I think I got the moves. See, I totally. You got the moves. You got the moves. Josh McCutcheon TV. Please be kind. Rewind. Who's ready for more Burger Planet? And I'm back. Let's see if anybody else got banned while I was gone. You would think I got a lot of poonting in those days. I did get a pretty good amount of poonting. It was pretty sweet. It was awesome, guys. Getting poon is pretty sweet. You should try it sometime. Your guess is no? That's I Kelly did, actually. Could be yes, my lord. Definitely. Yeah, right. <laughs> more than you, bud. I've been in more hot, wet gash than you have, bud. Guaranteed. You got a bad attitude. I know that's not working for you. Pretty good amount of point. <laughs> no more people were being. Oh, that's good. Sure. I get so much mad puss, dude. Tell them, guys. Tell them about all the puss we all get. We get so much puss. You don't know. He's being mean to us, guys. Get him. Get him. Dogpile him in the chat. Maybe I don't need mods. I'll just let the chat roast your ass. Yeah, that's the new thing. If someone disses me, get have my back, burger buddies, and fucking roast their ass. They won't even... And then it can be a fun sport and game between us, you know? 
and we will win every time because trolls aren't that smart they're just really zero iq incels so shouldn't be too hard because we get so much poon we're not incels <laughs> i don't get any poon i lied guys i don't get any poon i have gotten poon before but it's usually in spurts Did you hear the new Scorsese's almost four hours? No way, that's long. I'm gonna go take a shit between by the, before the. Hopefully, there's an intermission. God damn. Take a shit. It's the middle of the movie or something. Who is the rogue mod? We need to get to the bottom of it. I don't know. I unmodded everyone. Who knows? The only mod we have now is me. Wow, this is Burger Pun from the video. Yeah, that was from before. This is after. This is this is this is after bad life choices, you know? This is a lot of bad life choices led to this. This didn't happen overnight. I'm vaping now. I got a fucking douche fiddle right here. Unbelievable. Daving, daylight savings extra hour kind of yeah it's only 142 now and I gotta do overtime great global corp mandates that I do my shift doesn't end till 3 so you got an extra hour you bastards I don't like you and you don't like me let's make them <laughs> stuff it you guys definitely don't like me I like most of you I noticed there's a lot of dislikes why don't wouldn't it be nice if some of those dislike people would turn that frown upside down into a like? Come on, guys. You guys have put the effort in for the dislike. Put the effort in for a like. See if it actually helps me out. I'm putting a lot of effort over here. I like you, homie. Yeah, everybody give this video a thumbs up that's in here. Let's see if we can have more likes than dislikes tonight that's the goal I'm not getting too crazy but let's just try to get more likes than dislikes even by a few because there's so usually it's like sometimes it's right to the edge and if you watch any of my other videos give it a thumbs up because there's these bastard dislike squad or some shit they say they are and they dislike all my fucking videos it really it really bums me out You know, I don't agree. I don't under. I don't need to. Uh, you know what? Now you've done it. Now you've done it. I'm unleashing Streambot. Uh oh, you've done it now. I'm sorry. You brought this on yourself. You've done this to yourself. You did it to yourself, kid. May God have mercy on your soul. Actually, I need to go through... 300 seconds is kind of a lot if someone types Trump. Maybe it should be like... 30 seconds or something. What do you guys think is a good amount to time someone out if they type Trump or MAGA in the chat? 300 seconds seems like a little much. Oh yeah, you can't type loser. <laughs> I get tired of being called a loser. I had to put loser in there. Drumpf. <laughs> Number 45. Leon, that's not very nice. I'm going to have to time you out manually. How come you always act up, Leon? Is it just you crave attention? Is that what this is? Is this... Well, you get attention, but it's the negative kind. I'd really like for you to take your 300 second time out and really just do some introspective you know i've had so many issues with you just seem like a, you're probably an okay guy you know just i don't know whatever you're doing in, in with social things it's not working you need to switch it up you think four to f 45 seconds is okay should be 45 seconds he's the 45th president that's good maybe that's good i was thinking 30 seconds but maybe it should be 45 seconds 69 seconds e where do you shower in the van i used to have a planet fitness but now i uh, shower uh at a friend's house so every make sure i get one every couple weeks you know 
you you got a picture of a van, so you probably you know what I mean. You can go a couple weeks, it's all good. I got baby wipes to get me in between, you know, so I definitely wash and you know my uh underarms and private bits and ass and balls and all that stuff in the other part, but uh belly button, that's a good spot that could stink, but sometimes you know I can't get a full shower for like a couple weeks. I have more likes. Finally, we did it, guys. We've won. We won. We did it. Uncle Terry doesn't have a shower. Well, uh, he does, but I'm not at Uncle Terry's. I was talking about when I was in the van more. Yeah, my uncle, I'm not at Uncle Terry's all the time. Sometimes I'm still in the Vansion, but I was talking about when I lived in the van still. Come on. Yeah, Uncle Terry has a shower. Obviously. What do you think about the stinky steamer th thrown in Blade's gene pool? The stinky steamer thrown in Blade's gene pool? I don't know what that means, Miguel, and I don't give a shit about Blade or the other streamers, man. Sorry. If that's all you care about in life, it must suck. Just use Febreze. Oh, oh on my body? I don't think that... It has a lot of chemicals in it, dude. I don't know. You fall off? I've fallen off hard, obviously. Look at me. Come on, dude. I can't. I've given up. Dude, you're like 41. Any way you could tell us how to not get groped? You're 42. And, oh, now I'm 42. I was 41, now I'm 42. And a loser? Well, Streamlabs got you now, Bobby. You know, that's on you. You don't be mean next time, Bobby. There are other ways to get attention besides being a jerk, okay? Let's hope that you'll take this 300 seconds and do some introspection. Think about life and be like, really, am I adding to the world and making the world the place I... Is this the kind of world you want to live in, Bobby? A world of hate? Because that's what you've created for yourself. And you're only punishing yourself. Once you see that and you turn your life around and start living... Maybe, I don't know if you need to believe in Jesus or aliens or something, but believe in a higher power and something greater than yourself or whatever that means to you. And live your life... For the light, not the darkness. Thank you. Next question. Uh oh. Yeah, see if someone says ice, they get typed up. I better hold on. I'm gonna play another video really quick and change my timeout settings. Hold up. I'll be right back. Dang it. Hold up. Hi, I'm Josh McCutcheon. Today we have a special treat. I'm here with Mr. Harvey P. Carr, writer of American Splendor. Hello, sir. Very nice to meet you. How are you doing? You don't have to call me, sir. Everybody's on the same level here, you know? No hierarchy. Okay. Well, I was just trying to be as polite as I can. Who are some of your personal influences as a writer and as a storyteller? Who do you look to for inspiration? I'm influenced by prose fiction writers, or prose writers anyway. Henry Miller was a big influence in me at one time. Got me thinking in terms of autobiographical comics. A guy named George Aid, you know, who wrote about everyday life in Chicago around the turn of the 20th century. He was a newspaper man. He was one of the best uh, American writers of the turn of the century era. The naturalist writers of France, like Zola, American writers like Henry Roth and Daniel Fuchs, a whole bunch of them. Well, it sounds like our viewers are going to have their homework cut out for them. You're definitely throwing out a lot of names there. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, I wasn't that nuts about the writing in comic books. I gave up on them when I was around 11 years old. You know, I just thought that the stuff was really predictable. So I got back into them after I met Robert Crumb in 1962. He moved to Cleveland. You know, I, he lived around a corner from me, and we became friends. And he got me to thinking about the unlimited 
potential of comics and how little was done with them. I mean, you could do any kind of a story, but all they were doing was this superhero stuff. Hard to relate with that. It's like it's not real. You uniquely choose to write autobiographically. Some of your stories are just something so simple as, you know, being in line behind a lady in a grocery store or something. When do you decide? It's hard for me to talk about the combination of things that influence me to make a comic book story about one thing and not about another. You know, I just live my life and sometimes something happens that really tickles me and I'll just go home and write it down before I forget. What are some of your pet peeves? Some things in particular really just set you off. Like, what are some things you just can't stand or really gets under your skin? People saw me on the Letterman show. Show, and they thought, wow, this is a really irascible guy, a curmudgeon and everything like that. But actually, what I did on the Letterman show was very calculated. Calculated. I had absolutely nothing to lose and plenty to gain by, you know, starting a, a big to-do. As a matter of fact, Somebody was telling me like on YouTube or something, I got like 500,000 hits on the broadcast of the Letterman show. So, uh... You know, I mean, uh, messing with him, you know. I like that mentality. You've achieved so much throughout your life and your career. Is there still anything that you haven't done yet that you'd still like to do? Well, what I'm concentrating on now is making money. Because for 37 years, I worked for the federal government. And I'm on a pension. And I'm also on Social Security. And it turns out that that's not enough to support me and my wife. You know, when this movie came out, I mean, I would have really been screwed if it hadn't gone over as big as it did. But fortunately, my book started selling. Before that, they didn't sell with a damn, you know? You definitely did very well, sir. Definitely. Was it kind of weird? What was it like seeing yourself portrayed on the big screen like that and seeing Paul Giamatti play you? Well, it was okay. I mean, G Giamatti's an outstanding actor. You know, he did a real good job doing me. And I had seen the movie being made. I mean, I used to go down there every day and mooch food off of them, you know? And, uh... <laughs> Did he spend a lot of time with you just to kind of get your character down? Well, he definitely didn't spend a lot of time with me. He didn't come into town two, three weeks early and, you know, walk around behind me or something like that. What he said was, and I believe him, that he just, you know, picked it up from videotapes and from, um, uh, you know, like uh, the comics. Definitely. I thought the movie was great. I really enjoyed it, by the way. And thank you so much for spending the time to take this interview with us. I wish you luck tonight with your big presentation and everything. It's such an honor to meet you, and thanks so much. also want to give you a hug, too, man. Yeah, you're a good guy, man. It really is great, great, great to meet you. Not, 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 nothing to lose and plenty to gain. 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 Making money. 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 So back to you, Josh. Thanks, Josh. That was a great interview, by the way. Up next, we're going to have some crazy dancing or something. I don't know. <laughs> JoshMcCutcham.com Please be kind. Rewind. SmithMag.net forward slash project. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Josh McCutcheon. I'm originally from Indiana. I grew up in the country, and I worked for a country radio station for a couple years. Then I went to college at Ball State University in Muncie, Indiana, where I got a Bachelor of Fine Arts. While attending Ball State, I tried out for MTV University's Who Wants to Be a VJ Search? and I ended up winning for my college and making it to the top five out of 10,000 people who tried out to be a VJ that year. I worked for MTV University for two years where I was able to interview Ja Rule. Then I moved to New York City and lived in Brooklyn, New York for eight years where I was immersed in the culture. After hosting a show for two years with MTV, I decided to create my own show called The Josh McCutcheon Show. I uploaded my first episode in 2007. Kept doing my own show for three years and then got involved with stand-up comedy, sketch comedy, and improv 
at Upright Citizens Brigade. I'm currently 36 years old, unemployed, and 250 pounds of romping, stomping, female satisfaction. What do I think about sexual harassment in the workplace? Well, listen here, bud. If you grab my tushy, you're gonna get sprayed. And that's the burger promise. Hire me. I started live streaming February 25th, 2015. There was something about it. I got obsessed. Sometimes you have to make sacrifices to do what you want to do in life. I lived in a van for two years. And I always drink responsibly. Sure, there have been times in my life where I've thought about ending it all. But what matters is that I've kept going, just like I will for your company. My passions are film, music, and art. I would love to share my passions with you. Sometimes people ask me if I have superpowers. No, I don't have superpowers. I just try a little bit harder. That's why people call me Try Hard. And it's never too late to make a wish. Oh look, it already turned into a quarter. <sighs> Climbing straight to the top, the ladder of success. Going up, I am. I'll be popping like Oval Red and Baca. You know I'll be doing it like Chewbacca. Coming from the mean streets of Los Angeles. You know that's the way we get the fish sandwich. Ooh, I like it with the tartar sauce. Make it real spicy, you know it's the boss. I'm the burger planet, you know I got the style. Come with me, girl, you know you can't deny. The fans, they're the lifeblood. Without them, I would be nobody. Love you guys. Am I a cyborg? Not yet, but I will be soon. Hire me. Why should you hire me? You'd be crazy not to. If you want to be with me, you got to lose your premonitions and dance with me. If you want to be with me, you gotta lose your premonitions and dance with me. If you wanna be with me, you gotta lose your premonitions and dance with me. Who's ready for more Burger Planet? I hope they find a cure for autism as well, figure it out. That is that's something people have to deal with sometimes. Good call. What's up, Leon? How are you? Are you behaving yourself now, Leon? Well done. It's your form. I knew we could save Leon. I knew he was worth saving. Leon is... The government has come forward and said they know the identity of D.B. Cooper. Oh, my God. Okay. Don't see how that's going to change, I guess. They know the identity. You time me out, come on. 
I would never kill a mic. I did I, I did set my Streamlabs bot to time people out for 30 seconds for typing Trump and uh, trolls comments, but troll words. Got a pimple coming in over here. What's on Burger Curls? Just come in and give you a bunch of thumbs down and then leave. What's going on? Curls just will come in and give you a bunch of thumbs down and then leave. What a bunch of cowards. I know. They should come in here and face me like a man in the dojo. Can I perform my sock puppet show? Hmm. Could do a sock puppet show. Monte o Capiteo. Monte o Sweat. We don't speak Spanish, man. I don't know what you're saying. Can do you know English? Could you use Google Translate and we make you we can uh, understand what you're saying there, man. I don't know. No hablo español. Allegedly, he was working for the CIA the whole time. Damn, Miguel, that's interesting. There's going to be no CX sock puppet show, bub. The CX is canceled. It's over, buddy. You didn't get the memo? When was the last time you made someone? Feels like it's been too long. It's been a long time. Probably on Halloween last year. That's probably the last time I had to mace someone. I had to bust out the mace at the at IU at the t uh, tailgating. It was homecoming weekend or something, and some dad tried to kick my ass or something. He was a helicopter pilot. Oh, okay. Just whatever you know about DB Cooper, just type in one message, Miguel. We we don't need to talk about DB Cooper for the whole stream. Let's just tell us what you know, and then we'll talk about something new afterwards. How much weight have I lost? 65 pounds, and I hope I never find it. Content spray. Yeah, there you go. There you go. We got some OG burger heads in here. But it's only timing you out for 30 seconds now, so that's not so bad. We can get through that. It's not Spanish, it's Portuguese. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't know the difference between Spanish and Portuguese. I don't know Portuguese either, so, obviously, so. I speak English. Parez-vous Francais? I don't speak French either. About to play Rocket League. Hard to watch stream. Yeah, it is hard to watch this garbage. Good call. Go play video games. Call us in the morning. Or don't call us. We'll call you. He was f filming up skirts and voyeur vids. Who was doing that? DB Cooper was doing that? That's fucked up, man. You can't rock that sh shirt four times a week. Borrow Uncle Terry's wife beaters. No, I can not I only wear this shirt for the streams usually. I don't wear this in my everyday life. It's my costume, Mike. Quit dissing my costume. Can we get a performance? We just did that. I just did some flows. I did that. You got here late, man. You should have got here on time. Oh, it is uh it at two AM technically now it's two oh four AM, but at two AM you were supposed to set your clock back an hour back to one AM. So now the official time is it's 2.04 Eastern Time, 2.04 a.m. Eastern Time. So make sure to set those clocks back, your alarm clocks, things like that. Clocks that aren't, did, that, uh, aren't connected to the cloud. Daylight Savings Time is today, so 5.04. Do they have Daylight Savings Time in Australia or are they a little smarter with that? Because it's kind of dumb. Okay, buddy, you know, I don't know what you're saying. Now you're just pissing me off, you know? I told you, if you don't, I'm not going to have somebody speaking special codes in here. You, you're sorry that you consider suicide every day? That's not good. You probably need to change your lifestyle and do something that makes you happy, obviously. You're not, you know? And life's worth living. You but like, yeah, whatever you're doing, you need to switch it up. It's not working out. Whether it's drugs or being lazy or something. I don't know what it is. Go out and be somebody. What the hell?
take me to your wife. I don't have a wife. I'm not married. I've never been married. He says if this is a port for the deep web. No, this isn't a port for the deep web. Oh, we got people that can t interpret this. That's good. Damn, Burger, you're easily agitated. Are you new here? Apparently. Take me. I have a very thin skin. Burger, but we're not all suicidal. I think a lot of people that watch me are very happy with their lives. They're all wealthy millionaires. They're all on the, you know, living in fine ass mansions, hooking up with hot ass Instagram models all day. You know? All day. That's what we're about. And Phonics just said you made him and he watched documentary on you. Oh, I made him? Okay. That's cool. Thanks, Phonics. That's not true, though, but okay. Do you have any beard products? I, I use soap and water, Benny. And sometimes I put coconut oil in my beard. Just gives it a nice sheen and kind of just good for your uh, face. You met Adam22 and did coke with him. Does Indiana have a lot of coke? I don't know, man. I don't... I don't know. I don't do coke. I like Coke Zero. That's good. I can drink that on keto. You could, shouldn't do drugs. Where have I been? I've been right here in the Vanshin. You miss the old burger? Well, sometimes people evolve and things change. And you know, it's like Conan's show. It's it's a different style of show. It's only thirty minutes. I like the old version, but you know, things change and you either have to evolve with it or just be left in the past. I guess you're dwelling in the past too much. Burger Bone gonna kick your ass. Okay, that's cool. I'm sure, is that, do you just come here to troll? Is that what you've done? Well, I can make it real easy for you and you're timed out. Okay, come back, reformed. Did you watch any of that Jack White performance at the Bernie Sanders rally? No, I didn't, but I do like Jack White. I, I actually served him water when I worked at Brooklyn Bowl and I, um, I was a bar, well, barback busser, basically. Um, when will I grow my eyebrows back? I'm actually in the process of growing my eyebrows back right now, Benny. Thank you for your concerns. Your voice and opinion matters here. This is Reformed Burger. Thoughts on Only Use Me Blade? I'm not gonna talk bad about other streamers. I don't think I think he, it's not good to drink that much. Uh, that seems to be mostly what he does, and that's you know. I don't know. That's not my thing. I haven't drank in over six months. It'll almost be seven months, uh, November 10th. Have I heard the Conan podcast? I haven't, but I, I'll probably check it out at some point. Is it worth check, checking out? Burger in the dark, burger after dark. Need some terp sauce. Um, it probably tastes nice and terpy. You took shrooms and changed, huh? I took the shrooms at the Juggalo Fest, and my whole life's better now. <laughs> no, it was awful. I had a nightmare time. I got real paranoid from all those weird juggalos and stuff. I was live streaming. I had to turn the stream off. Yeah. How does it feel to be homeless on YouTube? It's it's. I was never homeless, Joe, because that means you've given up hope and you're, you're depressed. I was home free, Joe. It's about... A lot of times, your situation in life is all about perspective. You know, you can't always change your situ you can't always change your situation in life automatically, but sometimes you might fall on hard times and you need to change your perspective to get through it, and that's what I worked for me. That's a valid question. Are you waiting for that slander video that guy made on you to get some ad revenue before you strike it down and add it to the van fund? Exactly, yes. My lawyer said to let it play out, get a million views, get super famous for being a Alleged creep. That video is such bullshit. You guys know that. Ayo, it's great. Hey, the weather. How's the weather? In? Donate to me on Cash App. No, Leon. Quit asking people for money. You know, I'm timing you out for that. Mike, you donate $3. You've been streaming constantly. Enjoyed your stream last night. You were really vibing with Unscuffed Tammy. Thank you. Yeah, Unscuffed Tammy was cute. I got Unscuffed Can't Tammy's Instagram. Oh, yeah. Oh, this other girl that we met that's a YouTuber with 15,000 subscribers, she messaged me on one of my videos, and I don't know if she hasn't messaged me on social media, but she might. How do I feel about transsexuals? I respect everyone, as should you, you know? Uh, duh. 
I'm depressed, but I'm not a loser. Big difference. Okay, Joe. I don't think there are people that are losers, but calling people losers and thinking of yourself and things as losers, that is kind of a loser mentality, you know? There's not winners and losers really so much in life as much as there are just um, everyone, you know, sometimes there's ups and downs. I'd say that just because you lost once doesn't make you a loser. Maybe in that one thing, but, you know, you can flip that and be... You know, keep trying until you're success. I would call it being successful, you know, instead of being a winner. Change Once again, change your perspective. Some say slander, others say the truth. Oh, okay. Burger Planet will be further exposed. Okay, well, we'll be, I'll be telling my lawyer about that video as well. We do have, didn't get in contact with an entertainment lawyer about that issue. Can't wait for him to be, oh, that's nice. I'm not going to be on there. Have you painted anything recently? No, not much. Uh, I had a painting stream with my um, with my niece and nephew. We made a little painting stream. It was fun. When's the next Tales episode, homie? Dropping the banner. I don't have to do anything. Nightbot or a stream bot does it. There's not winners or losers, just ups and downs. Down syndrome recently. <laughs> That's not very nice. Burgers treat himself, which is cool, and main reason to watch him. Thank you, Finesse Frank. What's the one thing you want in life the most? I'd like to have a show. Did I'm not gonna read the comments that are timed out. Did anyone ever finish that wall you were ever you were supposed to paint? No, I drove by the other day. It's still in the same place that I left it. Glad to see you as growing as a person. Thank you. You were about as sharp as a marble. That is great. All right. And that guy's banned because you keep doing the same thing over and over again. And now I banned you. Everyone can do something they're good at and joy. Some just haven't discovered it yet or fear trying. Hey, that's a good point for rock and rollness. Let's try to help some of these people. That's a good idea. Didn't read my comment. Well, I don't know, John. I read that one. Is there an internet attack squad on your Asperger? I guess so. I don't know. Hey, Phonics said you made him. That's great. Hey. Hey, how are you? Banned. Did you had intercourse? I've had intercourse, yes. It was a zestful enterprise. I envision Burger Planet... Oh, this is not appropriate. So did all the trolls are bored, so they come to hang, to be rude tonight, guys. This is this is for grown ups. This isn't for like little kids to be trolls and be try to get attention, guys. What I suggest is you know find other avenues. If you want, think you want to be funny, maybe take a comedy class, do some uh, improv, do some open mics and some stand up, and actually try to be a comedian instead of being a fail troll. Most of you guys aren't even good trolls. You just say the same thing. It's not even funny or edgy. Now, Lance, Vance, Dance, Chance, he's got some good trolling sometimes. Take some notes from somebody that knows what they're doing. What's up, Burger? What's up, Burger? How are you? Oh, Cold Ice is here from you now. Have you ever heard of the YouTube Mr. Burgers? You should collab with him. Never heard of him. What's my favorite pizza? What do I like on my pizza? Hmm. Usually I just do pepperoni. I'm pretty basic. It's not failure. It's called practice. And it's coming in the form of a YouTube comment. Understand. There you go. That's good advice for people, I think. Lance Vance... Dance, Chance, Burger, Bruce. <laughs> Donate $3. If you do like the stream and you're a troll and you want to get your voice heard, you know, and get some more attention, the best way to get attention is through donating. $3 text-to-speech, uh, streamlabs.com slash burgerplanetlife1. I see you're famous now. Super famous, dude. Everything's great. I'm in an awesome studio, you know. Just hanging out by skyscrapers and stuff. Everything's great. You should hold a beggar sign. First YouTube bump. <laughs> that is accurate. 
Uh, can you take Discord calls or something? Maybe. When are we getting burger merch? Ooh, I need to design some more burger merch. True. Did I miss you? I mean, some days more than others. Love your creativity, you rock. Thanks, Bella. I guess we could take some calls on Discord. Who wants to talk to me on Discord? Let's see. Does this work? I don't know. Is Streamlabs bot not going to do my Discord link? You're going to go watch Uber? Okay, man. Have fun. See you later. Yeah, it didn't work, did it? Mm. Oh, there's my Discord link. There we go. Oh, there we go. It just was delayed. All right. There's the Discord link. All right. Join the Discord, and let's get some people in the voice chat. Not random people, probably, but... Just respectful people. Let's see if anybody's going to talk to us. Last time it delayed the audio, there was like a lag, so I don't know if it's going to mess it up. We'll see. Oh, we got some people over here. Hey, we got Alt Universe live on the stream. How you doing there? It's good, man. I was eating dinner. What's up? Just uh, chilling with the home dogs on the live stream. Oh, nice. I didn't even know you were live. Hi. Most people don't. <laughs> so... <laughs> Do you remember right. to set your clocks back uh, for the daylight savings time? Not until this moment. All right. Well, you got to set your clocks back tonight for one, set it back one hour. So it's actually it was three eighteen a.m. Eastern time. Now it's two eighteen a.m. Eastern time. Nice, nice. I think I only have one clock in my house that I need to set back. Everything else is is. Uh connected into the internet in some way it's on the cloud exactly uh, if you would have asked me that 10 years ago it would have been a much serious subject i would have had to set everything back hey weather thanks for uh donating a dollar on the super chat appreciate it man your phone does it for you nice that's really cool yeah well yeah i know but if you have an alarm clock or something some stuff you have to like you know change the time what 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 was it back in the day before the internet? There was there was the atomic clock, right? That everyone that, had to. Is that called through. Greenwich time? Yeah, yeah. Greenwich, like you could connect into it. Isn't it GMT Greenwich Maritime? Yeah, is right. I'm surprised you know that. Holy crap! You know a lot of stuff, dude. When you're 47 years old, you learn a thing or two. <laughs> You could be my dad. Maybe you are. I don't know about that. You can call me daddy. <laughs> All right, daddy. Oh, no. Oh, that just sounded wrong. All right, daddy. Daddy. I want, daddy. A, I want a, a new spitball gun from Walmart for Christmas. It's only $40. Have Have you ever played San, Santa Claus before? Like, uh, just randomly? Mm. I did I, I did that a few times. Um, Let's see. For, uh, well, there's a thing in New York called Santa Con where people dress no up way, like Santa really? Claus. There's like hundreds of people that <laughs> dress like Santa Claus, and they all go like to different bars and bar hop and go to Times Square and all these places, and they're on the subway singing Christmas carols <laughs> and like puking in the streets and shit. So I've been to that a few times. So oh my god! In that regard, I didn't even know that was a thing. It's a thing, and there's a lot of bars and places that have banned it because it's like kind of a like the people that are the locals and stuff around the neighborhoods hate it because there's just all these like drunk Santa douchebags like puking everywhere and like on a Sunday and shit or whatever day. My God! Wow! No, I I um I I go to like uh like um a few foster homes. Mm -hmm. I used to do this and dress up as Santa Claus. So I'd, I'd uh, oh, that's have nice. all the 
Yeah, yeah. I used to I used to do that. It's pretty chill. I do I like to do charitable events like that. You should you should do that, man. Hmm. If you want to, I mean. That was be the kind first of a Simpson thing. episode was about Homer being a Santa with the Santa's little helper, wasn't it? Uh shit, the, I don't know. They got the Simpsons the dog from the dog track. Oh yes, yeah, his little helper. Yeah, I I do remember that episode. It's a classic. That was pretty chill. Well, the that first was a- episode was like on the Tracy Ullman show. It wasn't a real episode though. It was like the first short, and then then they had the first. That was the first legit episode, I think. That was the, that was the first like real episode, like one of the episodes that that they took more seriously. I think took a di- different it, tone from the rest of did them. Did you check out like I saw on FXX they played a bunch like a marathon of house or Halloween hor- uh Halloween horrors episodes on this from the Simpsons. They played like all of them. Uh no, no, I didn't say it. see see that. I actually don't watch the Simpsons as much anymore. I used to used to watch them for a long time. Yeah, I just put it back on my DVR to record the new ones, but I don't know. There's sometimes they're hit or miss, but there's still got some good jokes in there that I find funny sometimes. Yeah, I I, I have friends that that are into Family Guy and they're in they're into The Simpsons and they regurgitate every single fucking episode to me every that's single an, time. That's, <laughs> an, that's obnoxious. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm like, all right, but the, they're they're still good. I'm I'm not a I'm not a Family Guy type guy. I guess Conan like, wrote for uh, the Simpsons on season four. He was working for SNL during season one, and he, he wrote some episodes in season four, like the monorail, and I forget what other ones he wrote. But and this is this is I why I love Mr. talking. Plow. I think he wrote yeah. Mister Plow too. This is why I, I love talking to you because you know this knowledge that I I don't know any of this, and it, it's like interesting to me that now I know this stuff. So. I, yeah. I know about like the writers and stuff now, so if it's a Jeopardy you're, you're question, you're up. good. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that to me is like a thousand dollar question right there because I just would not know that 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 would be almost a double Jeopardy question. So maybe I sometimes I do really good on Jeopardy questions, and then they'll be in, and I'll like I I start getting a little bit like oh I'm actually like doing okay with this trivia, and then then the next episode i just do terrible so i don't it just depends what the questions are about like anything about sports i have no idea pretty much i mean unless it's like yeah, it's common like basic, like basic very common sports like something about michael jordan or something from that era or you know like reggie miller or charles barkley or something you know but if it's like anything modern i probably don't know it and like as far as sports goes and a lot of sports stuff. I, there's just tons of sports facts that I just have no idea about. Or if they came up with a double Je- Jeopardy thing of quick Burger Planet, do freestyle rap right now. <laughs> that would be like a fucking crazy thing. Um, I saw you on Adam 22. Yeah, I saw you on Adam 22. Who was that guy? His name was Murder Planet. What's his Murder other Planet. name he goes by? Murder Planet. Oh, Burger Planet. Burger Planet, yeah, yeah, yeah. or Josh Mc, Mc, McCutcheon would be the other acceptable answer. That's so. Oh wait, are you talking about Pizza Time? <laughs> no, uh, no, I, I was, I, I was saying he, Burger he goes by Andy. Murder Planet, but, Burger but what's his, Andy? That's who he is. Oh yeah, well you could go that way too. Yeah, that that's another acceptable answer. Oh god. <laughs> so how are things with you? Uh, chill him, man. I got fucking, I, I had gout my right foot, so. Oh, yeah, how's that? It's Wait, a lot better, man. This is good because a lot of my viewers have gout, so it's good. You guys got gout, man? They got hella gout, bro. Yeah. A lot of tumors. They got moles. Scoliosis. They got the, uh, fucking, uh, psoriasis. Bad. Rashes. But they, don't ever get gout. Yeah, don't get gout. How's your gout going? Yeah, it's good. Like, just so you guys know, like, gout is uh, if you eat like a lot of meat um, or a lot of things with a, uh, um, I think it's called what it was it called puritan. Basically, it converts over to uric acid, and then the uric acid, um, if you have enough of that, and your kidneys can't get get that out of your system, it goes back in your blood and it turns into. Uh, 
crystallized uric acid basically into your joints. So I have an old injury in my right ankle because usually it forms into your big toe. But I have an old injury that happened as a kid. Um, and it formed there and it just started like just fucking pain. I've only had um, gout twice in my life. So it's been quite a... Only twice? <laughs> only twice. This is I've never had that ago. shit ever. I'm I'm susceptible um, towards it probably. That's probably the thing. I've, I have probably poor circulation in my body. It's another factor too. Wow. So let's just say, assume that most of our diet at Burger Planet is all meat mostly. So we're all fucked. <laughs> well, no, saying. no, like people you usually get gout when they're older. Um, if they have poor cir circulation or um, it's indicative of people who have uh, um, type two di diabetes, possibly type one as well. So, um, but uh, um, you know, I, I'm 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 athletic. I'm 210 pounds, six two. I'm not like overweight. It's just g genetics because you you can also genetically be prone to have gout as well. I, I don't think I'm genetically prone, but um, yeah. I've done like a mm. long stint of fasting, basically, but before I I got gout because I've been feeling like shit. And I think I think what happened is is that my um. I had uh, when when you have a lot of like uric acid in your blood, your 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 pH level of your blood is more acidic. Your pH level naturally of your blood is supposed to be at, at a base level to, to near ne neutral. So like, uh, oh. what is neutral? Seven seven pH for for neutral, I believe. So yeah, it should be like seven neutral. point. Yeah, yeah. So it should be slightly above um, neutral to, to a slight base. So if your blood is, is acidic, you're more prone to do it so you raise your um, um well you actually lower your ph level to be well, no no you raise your ph level to be more base basically to to be to be less prone to having uric acid float around there sorry sorry for all the technical stuff but now, i'm no i'm no doctor by any stretch of the means shit have you guys heard of lyme disease like ticks carry it and you could i've heard a lot of people in like there's like it, the test for it's really expensive but there's people if they get sick a lot they're like oh you had lyme disease and stuff i don't know has anybody had to deal with that in the chat maybe I never had to deal with Lyme disease. Uh, that's with like ticks and stuff, right? Yeah, but it really affects your immune system, and it can make you real achy, and uh, I don't know a lot of stuff too. Shit, man! I, I I got on here. It was like eighty viewers. Now it's like sixty. My bad. It's well. That's what happens when actually I have real content. You know, they can't handle it. No, that's fine. I was I was talking to Dan Halen. He's pretty chill, man. Dan is cool. Yeah, I'd like to. Yeah, we like to hang out with him. I don't know. I haven't talked to him in a while, but oh, he's going through some shit right now. He's he just got back surgery, so he's how's he's he like doing? Six... Uh, he's in a lot of pain. Um, I watched his Twitch channel because he did stream like after a surgery, and it's it's not like the most happiest content in the world. But I appreciate him like posting it up and stuff, and and so I got to chat with him like on on his Twitch stuff. I got to chat chat with him through DMs and. Seems like fucking hell right now for him. To be honest, he's not he's not a happy camper. He, he I think he had like um, four of his um, spine vertebrae or something like fused together. I don't uh, know exactly what that means. That sounds pretty but, serious. Yeah, yeah. Like I can't imagine like like my my gout's like nothing compared with the, to what that guy has. He's he's a very tall dude. He's like six foot nine or something. He's, so he's real tall. Yeah, hey, he's r r ridiculously tall and um he there's no it seems like right now when, when i was watching him on twitch there's no comfortable spot in the bed for for him to that there's no way he can get ever comfortable basically in any capacity because he's got fucking bolts in his back and and he says like he feels the the bolts when he's laying down there's just no just sounds like hell to me so well I mean, we you, wish him a speedy recovery wish him the best we had a good time hanging out with him and uh Oh yeah, Montana. yeah, man. We we should go see him again, man. He needs to be taken care of by somebody. <laughs> I don't know if I can like change his diaper and shit, but. Well, he's I don't I don't I don't know what anyone can do for him. He's he's a he's a tall dude and. He's a big boy. Yeah, I couldn't. He's gonna have to couldn't... get a robot butler or something. Yeah, yeah, but I Dan is a really really chill dude, so I'm I'm glad that I, um. We, we've been talking for a few months now, like back and forth. So I'm just really happy to, to connect with him again and 
We read books, chat. I don't know if you guys read books, but there's these things. That, what's you know, a what book? You, Wait a minute. What's a book? I've never. <laughs> a book. It's made out of paper. It's not this virtual shit that that you see on your Kindle. And uh, you start from the left and you read from the left to the right, basically. So, and if if, if it's like a if it's a, like a like a book from um, was it French or something? You start from the right you, and you go from the left. Some something like that. So, but it's not not one of those. You go from the left and you read from the right. And uh, it has paper in it, has actual ink. Hmm. And um, I usually get my books to the thrift store nowadays. I don't actually buy, like, books from – if I buy books, I'll actually buy a Kindle book. But what do you put a couple down your pants and then buy one of them so they don't think Hell you yeah. stole? <laughs> Classic. That's what I do, boys. Nice. I steal that shit. I'm a yeah. fucking book thief, man. Steal this book, man. Out. What is that Hoffman guy? Abby Hoffman. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they had a movie called Steal This Movie. I've been I've been getting a lot of books like trying to learn more about like the 1960s, like the hippie generation because I know next to nothing on that and I I kind of for some reason I think that's kind of a fascinating thing for me. Just seems like people from that era are just kind of uh uh just a different mindset all all, all together, so It was a trippy time, man. I you should have been there. I'm 47. I was there. I was letting my freak <laughs> I was letting my freak flag fly, man. Oh, man. It was free love, free drugs. We were protesting the war, man. It was some heavy times, bro. Well, yeah. I Like, like uh, I, I remember um, you were doing um, some free, freestyle s singing on Twitch, and I had recommended to, to do a, what was it, Leaving Out a Jet Plane. You're like, what the fuck? And uh, that's like that's like one of my favorite songs. <laughs> I, I know it's I like knew that. Stuff. See, yeah if yeah. i sing a song it's got to be somebody's favorite in the chat you know well no yeah yeah but like like um i i, I know that you you weren't really that into it but um i've always been kind of um i'm not that 47 song. guys i'm 37 but people always <laughs> say that i'm like 43 or 42 or some shit as a joke so i was just playing into it i'm 37 guys i was born march 19th 1982 there we go. He's a young man. A young man. Got a lot of living left. Got a lot of love to give to. Where them ladies at? Hello. He's in love, man. That's what I'm all about here. So. Gout. This is a gout update. Yes, this is a gout update. Yo, man. How is your guys' gout in the chat? Is you guys? How are you guys I, doing? I got with some leg holes falling for me. See, when I said to only eat burgers, I didn't know that we were all going to get gout. I, I should have read at WebMD before I gave that advice. My bad. <laughs> That damn acid stuff got us. What's it called? Uric acid, man. It's that fucking uric acid. Crystal. Crystal, the man. Crystal, crystal acid. Uric acid, man. It's fucking That's right, up. boys. Yeah, sucks. yeah. I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to make the pure crystal uric acid, man, so we can all <laughs> Nice. <laughs> like breaking bad. Is it cuz make my is millions, it, boys? Does it is it worse when you drink your own pee? Cause I'm not drinking my pee now, but sh or should I be? Uh, it might actually be better. I might cure it actually. I don't know. Yeah. You need to drink someone else's You're pee. just trying to get me to drink like my pee. pee. I'm on to you. I'm not doing that <laughs> again. I totally tried right. it once when I was a kid. It's just like, what does my pee taste like? And I was like, it's not great. We don't need to try that again. Feb 13, 1981. I'm reading your chat right now. He's old. He's older. You're old, man. You're so old. You're 38. Oh, my God. This guy's old. Casual, casual germ said in chat, uh, first world problem. Recycle those uh, nutrients. Yeah, there are some cultures where they drink those, they eat those toadstool mushrooms. Then the people will drink the urine from that person because the first person gets most of the they their body and kidneys like get most of the toxins out of it and then they drink that person's pee and then they trip balls it's true real real yeah they, they, i'm not you saying heard, you don't... should do that but i mean i don't that's something people do well yeah it's called it's called jankum you ever heard no, of that no that's when people like shit in a bag and it <laughs> isn't it like go like go bad and then they smell it or something or it's well okay so it, it it's a 
fermentation process, basically. Fermented and shit, though, right? Yeah, it's it's your shit and piss, basically. So so you shit in a jar, and then you piss inside of it, and then you let it ferment, basically. Doesn't it just and, make uh, methane? Uh, yeah, something like that. I'm I'm no like expert, but supposedly you're supposed to get high off of it. It's uh, man, it's I really like, well well done like in like getting, criminal countries. I like getting high just as much as anybody in a legal state in some situation, and I never get high and drive. But you know, I don't not enough to like breathe in my own shit. That's fucked up, man. Black Black Swan said Jankum is a hoax. I don't I don't know. Like I read that one Maybe time. Maybe we gotta I, look I it up. Maybe they're just trying to get people to smell their own shit as some internet hoax. Yeah, it it could be. It could be a fucking thing. I, I used to believe Pat said he loves Jankum. Oh, maybe Pat's Pat, ended, Pat Max says shit, man. Okay, Pat says <laughs> it's real. It must he's tried everything. He Pat's an Pat's a veteran. I don't know if he was a veteran of the war, but he's just an OG, man. He's been there, done that kind of thing. If he says Jankum he loves it then he means I believe it. him. I believe him. I, I don't you don't need to prove it to us, Pat. We don't quit sending me the look pictures. Up, Quit sending me the pics. I don't need to see it. At one time I shit a log so long. This thing, and it had so much structure and compression to it. This thing was like two feet long. And instead of like breaking in half, it just kind of accordioned into the toilet. And it made like an S, like a Superman S. I was like, it's a super <laughs> shit. I don't usually take pictures of my shit, but I was like, Damn. I have to show someone this. This is amazing. And I showed some people, and it they found it less amazing than I did. I showed it to some did, chicks. You, uh... I showed it to some chicks at the yeah. bar. I was like, "Oh, it was crazy." I took a up. picture of it, and they're like, "Oh, can Yo. we see it?" And I'm like, "Yeah, of course." And I showed them that, and then they told the, then they told the bouncer at the bar that I was showing pic people pictures of my shit, and they asked to see it. It's like. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I did, it. but they asked to see it. It's not like I'm just like, hey, everyone, check out my shit. And you I'm know the funny thing is, is this actually happened. I believe him. <laughs> I believe everything you fucking say, man, because A, you do not have the ability to lie for the most part. I don't. I, 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 would, <laughs> I don't have I, the I, I, I'm a simple I, boy. I don't understand how to lie. He's a simple boy from Indiana, from the Midwest, and and Mid Midwest people not like like you know what's the point of lying, man? You know, let's get real. Like, I mean, I mean, you don't need to tell us. There's everything, probably a lot of times I should lie. Uh, completely, completely. <laughs> I would agree with you on that. Shane, thanks for the three dollars. Please destroy us, aliens. Release us all. Message to God. But then, you are and then oh, wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. I got a donation. Filthy creature. Oh, good. God's God punish you. Thank you so much, Shane. God, it will punish the unclean aliens or whatever that means. Yes, they will destroy us or vice versa. True. That is a, I'm a very... What are your thoughts on aliens? Thanks for the donation, Shane. Um, I have a lot of thoughts on aliens. So apparently yeah. if you have uh, um, O positive blood, you're, you're more likely to get abducted by aliens. And uh, <laughs> I, I, I read this on a, on a website. And um, there's all sorts of variety of aliens. There's like grays and all this. Now, now, do I believe like aliens are visiting us? I don't think so, man. I mean, like, do I think there are aliens out there? And you have to define aliens, right? So they they, they have to be like the intelligence sort because you could have aliens that are like biological and they're micro or organisms. Or organisms and people like yeah yeah they're they're gonna be like like bacteria and, and stuff like that most certainly. But I'm talking like of of the like intelligence basically um, type that are multicellular cellular is is uh, I, I don't know I don't know like I think there is like some shit like that out there. Um, I think the UFO community is like a legit thing. Out of all the conspiracy groups out there, um, UFO is uh, unidentified flying object for people who don't know. I'm sure everyone like knows this shit, but some people might not know. I and want. I, I, I want <laughs> to believe. Hell yeah, Did man! That sound cool. That that, that sounded good. Wait, was that on a voice thing or is that just you? Yeah, I put a, I put a echo. I thought it was echo. I don't know. I want yeah, yeah. to believe. But, um, like I know quite a little bit about um, like the UFO community and stuff, and um, yeah, I I think uh 
there are aliens, you know, bottom line. And I think people get confused with UFOs claiming that every U UFO unidentified object is an alien and could just be a fucking speck of dust and all this bullshit. But um, I don't think there's any, like, legit proof out there of, of aliens, basically. You know, there, there's a lot of UFO stuff, but we don't know if it's being controlled by aliens or not. So um, that that's kind of... Um, um, I followed a group called Pal Talk called, what was it, iCar Radio, I-C-A-A-R. And um, they're really spouting a lot of bullshit, but I find it entertaining because they, they taught me how to build, um, um, like, ship, like, ship tinfoil hats on top Hold of your on. head and stuff. Hold on, the aliens taught you how to, oh, the guys no, taught no, you no, how no. to. No, 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 this, this group taught Hold on, I have some tinfoil. Let me grab it. Let me do this. <laughs> Everyone, I'm going to take a quick break. Go grab your tin foil. We've got to protect ourselves from aliens. I'll be right back. Let's do it, boys. You guys still there? Let me see something. One moment. Is he really getting tin foil? Oh my god, he's getting tin foil. Guys, yeah. always make sure that you use Reynolds wrap. The, the generic brand just doesn't have the same effect. It's got to be Reynolds' brand. I want that smoke. Send the aliens. That's what Casual Germ said. This is made by Reynolds Consumer Products. That's what they do. They roll aluminum. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, and these little holes, you punch those in the side, and that keeps your tube from falling out. Pro tip. That's a life hack right there. All right. Tamir Kurse said it. The universe is huge. How do you think um, we are the only ones? Okay. Everyone's got your aluminum foil at home. How much am I going to need here? Start with the head piece, probably. Yeah, try that. All right. The, the, the guy was showing, like, different mechanisms. Now, keep in mind, I think all this stuff is bullshit, but... It is fun to, like, see someone that really believes. He's a real believer in tinfoil for protecting you from rays by aliens and government um, trying to in investigate you now. So, mm -hmm. but they, they don't even need that nowadays, dude. Like, nowadays. You I feel better. Story. I feel better already. I don't know. It's doing something. <laughs> could, could be the placebo effect, essentially. Yeah. Because you think it's uh, working. It works. No, it works because it works. That's I why. believe you. It works, boys. Looking it's like a baked field. potato. <laughs> 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 kind of looks like Devo, or I'm like the aluminum foil Pope or something over Throw here. The wind. <laughs> I do not look like the Grand Wizard. Take that back. Oh my God! Aliens might be microscopic. Don't encourage He's them. The Grand Wizard of tinfoil boys. Oh Reynolds wrap. It helps keep the aliens out of my mind brain. <laughs> Reynolds wrap. <laughs> It helps to keep the aliens out. And food's fresh. Nailed it. Oh, my God. Hit me up, you Reynolds Trap. Hit me up. I got ideas, Reynolds Trap. Let's take it to the next level. Who cares if they're making aluminum foil hats to keep the aliens out? As long as they're buying the Reynolds Wrap products <laughs> and keeping it moving off the shelves, that's all that matters. People are buying the generic shit. You got to know this works better. And it's kind of like a cloaking device. Look, half my head's disappeared over here. You guys, I'm a little bit delayed on your stream. Let's see. Uh-oh. That's my fault. Yeah, mind you, aliens are actually attracted to, yeah, to off-brand foil. Yeah, it's, it has the opposite effect. Exactly, Robert. It has to be name brand, guys. Reynolds Wrap. <laughs> Get it from the... The baking aisle. This is great stuff. And if you you get five feet more, that's a that's it was seventy five feet. Fuck that. They wiped it off eighty feet now. That's a deal. I'm down do with you, that shit, man. Do you want aliens reading your mind and putting alien viruses into them, or do you want to be safe with the Reynolds strap? I mean, the thought. It's a pretty simple decision, I think. Yo, yo, that, instead of Reynolds rap, it should be burger rap, boys, with, with a hard R. 
Right, boys? Rap. Rap. Oh, yeah, rap. I'm a big time Maybe rapper. Murder Planet. Oh, don't. I had him here earlier. It was. Oh, what? I had Murder Planet on earlier. I don't know how we get like the guests we get, but man, somehow we got Murder Planet. It was it was lit, man. It was I don't know what are the kids saying, Liddy? It was Liddy, dude. I get it. Like I, I don't I don't stream that often, but I I get a lot of people from Adam Twenty Two that that want me to review their stuff. They think I'm like somebody that can review people. I can't review shit. I can't review rap, but you should be a dude that should review people, man. I don't know. I just don't like listening to most of it because it's such garbage. You know, it's like fuck. I can't listen to this shit. Well, then call it garbage, dude. I think I think people would appreciate your honesty on that. I mean, if you think it's garbage, call well, it garbage. I was the best freestyler on Adam Twenty Two's podcast. I mean, just say not my words, his, but I mean, dude, uh, you were you you are. I, I watched your shit before you went on, and then, and then when you went on, dude, it was fucking surreal. I was like, what? How did you? <laughs> Still on the phone with my boyfriend. Well, he is a boy, and he is my friend. Well, it'd be nice if you ever got a fucking friend, Leon. Because you obviously... Obviously, no one likes you here, but you still keep coming back. So, you want to be loved, but you're just going around about it the wrong way, bud. You need a big group hug's what you need. <laughs> I, I, I'll hug you, Leon. You need a big hug, man. Come here, Leon, you little fucking I'm troll. Here, Come here, you little man. troll Come ass on. bitch. Come here. No. Fucking lock him up in a sleeper hey. old bitch. Yeah, you never trust me. Sleep. Sleep. <laughs> sleep. Sleep. That's what you get when you fuck can with I, the burger, make, buddy. Can I can I can I talk about the Reddit or should, should I not talk about that on your stream? Nah, let's not talk about Reddit. Okay, okay, I don't wanna, I, we, everyone should be posting on my Reddit though. They should be posting on the Burger Planet right, Live you're right, Reddit. You're right. Post on that. I, I, I wanted to make fun fun of myself, but don't, it would be self deprecating. Don't, do okay. don't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. Don't do go it. there. Don't go there. <laughs> don't do it. Oh man, dude. The burger. They put him in the sleeper. Sleep. Uh, criticizing our. Burger doesn't read need another demographic that wants to shoot him. That's true. We have plenty. <laughs> Trump supporters, uh, women. There's a lot of women. <laughs> um, just viewers. Uh, Hypothetically speaking, I get a lot um, of death threats. Yeah, I've, I've I've got a few death threats. It's funny. I, I enjoy that. I. Oh, you you love it. Oh, I love it. I don't know if I used well, that when, word. When I was when I was a blogger, dude, when it, when it, when I blogged a lot, um, people would threaten me all the time, and I, I honestly, when it when when I came across the CX community, I it was pretty mild compared to what I was getting before, and uh, so I, you'd I say the CX out, death threats like they just don't bring it like the other guys. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> you they would. Like, they would. You guys are yeah. soft. <laughs> He's saying you guys are <laughs> I, soft. I mean, I, I mean, like, there was a, there, there's kind of like a, you know, being like a redditor oh, and yeah. shit, 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 like there, there, there's kind of a line that they don't really cross. It's all about the memeing and shit with uh, um, when you, when you're perceived to attack someone's ideology, like, like Scientology or 9-11 truth or other things of that nature, um, they get really upset and it's, it's not because you have any criticism. It's not because you have legitimate or illegitimate criticism at all. It's the fact you have any criticism as to why they get upset basically and uh, they 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 go after you hard, man. They they go after you yeah. super hard. They they they, they dock drop you. They and you, you don't get paid any money. You know you don't get paid money to do it. You you. But I I deemed it as kind of like a humanitarian altruistic type of of thing. That, Did anyone try about, to deliver so. pizzas or anything to your house or anything? Uh no. They 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 leak my address. They've um um done other shit basically but not nothing too extensive like the scientologists had there's a guy called jim jesus they they on on, on the site and um he's he's not a he's an atheist by the way but they the scientologists followed him like guys I, I should bring wait a on. minute chech is here guys hold on let's give Getch. it up give it up for chech Hello. oh shit <laughs> oh, is sorry man. chech i don't know it's the crowd man i don't know just... I'm, I'm a big fan of Chech. I'm, I'm out universe, Chech. What's up, dog? Shout out to Chech. Sorry, <laughs> <Boo. brother. laughs> Welcome back, Chech. 
Plot, plot he twist. I, me. I, I, have a, I, I have a theory that Chech is Burger Mama, so I'm just saying. Uh-oh. <laughs> it all makes sense. It's Burger Mama's alt. I'm calling you out. He knows, Mom. He knows. She's asleep, usually. She goes to bed. Oh, Chech, mine. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. One one of my favorite Chech moments, and I I apologize because you're you're not a fan of the guy, but no, we um, love at least that's vibe. We love Chech. Well, it was was at the Rubber Tramp Rendezvous, and at the like the end of that thing, you saw what Chech rode, and you're like, "You're banned, bitch! Don't come back! You're not welcome here!" And I was like, I was fucking laughing my ass off when you said that. It was just like was that when I was really dude, drunk in the van, <laughs> alone, like in. Dude, dude, that was right after you and you and Haley. Oh, okay, this was the other like our RTR was this fucking awesome. Um. Cause you and you and that Haley chick, right? Her, that, that that was her name. The mm-hmm. chick with the glasses. She was she was attractive. Um, you, you she was saying like se- sexual stuff to you back and forth in front of the fire, basically. Mm. And then and then she was like not down to fuck because you wanted to, you know, stream like still. Basically. Not while we were fucking. Um. Well, she was down. I thought I oh, thought really? she was down. I think oh. maybe I screwed yeah, that yeah. up. And so, uh, um, and then I think that you and her went back to see this older guy, like her grandfather or something. Oh, this, uh, who is this guy? This is alt universe. He used to be a big troll, but now we're buddies. Yeah. We're buds. We're best we, friends. We both, always kind of buddies. I mean, like love, indirectly, hate. At, love, hate. You know? so, yeah. Hey, I, I, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm like a big burger body fan, man. So I'm a huge, huge. yeah, huge. So, huge. um, but I, I n- never really talked to him directly, so Chet said fire. That means I suck, right? Thank you. No, he Shout said you're to... fire. That means you're good. Like I you're know, not I'm fire. Talking, but... but um after that you you guys smoked, I think like I'm not a pot connoisseur, but Bob Marley? Like you, you had a strain of that. Oh, and we smoked with that old guy that lived in a yeah, van. Yeah, oh, what was that, that guy's name? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I was who he like, was, damn it, he like cock blocked me so hard. Dude, Haley was nice. Like, uh, did you ever try to hook back up with her or no? I haven't talked to her since RTR. I think I have her number still. I don't even, I didn't even remember. I thought her name was Margaret. Shit, it might be Margaret, man. It was so long ago, though. I think Chech, her name was Chech, Margaret. Me, me, Chech, and probably a few select. We made out people. a few times on the stream. Like, we went on this, like, nature that was hike. Awesome. I tried, I tried to, like, turn the stream off a few times and ask her if she wanted to, like, hook up in the desert but she wouldn't do it <laughs> i was like there's I, no I one around let's do it man. god she was never she was forget nice, pasta man. camp yep pasta camp dude hit it hit her back up man i mean j- just an idea she seemed pretty chill and she seemed to be down with all that community who stuff was that anyways. guy i forget the guy that the old dude i forget what his name was but he, he was got on the or... guitar one night yeah yeah he was pretty chill yeah, there were some people that just hated me live streaming though. They were just like not about it. They were like outlaws or some shit, and they're like, "I don't want to be on there." <laughs> you captured my kid. It was just like like they. I I remember one of them. You were you were there to get food and stuff, and they you captured some someone's kid for two point five seconds. You were talking. Well, to them I, I was just like, "Oh, do you like skateboards or something?" I was like, "Do you like yeah. skateboarding?" Like my friend does BMX totally bike. He did like yeah. That's I guess they were big YouTubers too or something. They do like a lot of travel oh, no YouTube stuff. Yeah, and they yeah they like flipped out like don't film my kid. I'm like I'm just fucking waiting for pasta. Like, I don't know. Well, just, dude, like, dude, I'll tell you. I don't know. For for real, you were the trendsetter of of RTR, man. I'll I'll tell you that much because you fucking made like everyone after that event was was fucking live streaming a- after you went there. So uh, there's always gonna be imitations. And uh, well, yeah, yeah. You and and you gained it, dude, dude. After that event, w- without ISIS crew and stuff, it kind of was proof positive that you were streaming. Um, you were pulling in viewers, but after RTR. Um, you were getting a new viewership that that was older, basically like Vagabond and, and all those other people. I yeah. mean, it was a totally. Look, we need to get Vagabond like, watching again. I miss that guy. Yeah. I haven't seen him in the chat forever. I don't know if the trolls ran him off or what. I I think I think those those types of people they they like it when I mean you're trying you're changing up your content so they may not just like be down with the content. I'm down with whatever you're putting up. So that's just the bottom line with me. But 
if you start traveling around and stuff, I'm sure you'll, you'll be able to pick up those old, the, the old viewer base again. Those old people love to travel. They love it. They're Dude. rambling down the road. I don't know how old oh, he yeah, is, yeah. but I did meet him at RTR, he said. <laughs> Who is that? Who is that one dude? Fuck. Was it in Oregon? You traveled up to Oregon and you found some, some like alcove of like this one dude like happened to be random. Like you happened to be passing him and he just was watching your shit and he pulled you. It was like a brief two seconds. Fuck. What was his name? I I don't know if you were because you meet a lot of people like that dude. But um, I want to. Were you in Oregon ever? Yeah, I went to Seattle, Portland. I went to Seattle. I met some Did, dude at Old Faithful that randomly saw me from the streams. Yeah, yeah, he he lived like in a hippie hippie conclave or something. Like oh, it seemed know. like to me, I, I don't know what the fuck that was. That was weird. I don't like. I mean, but that's like very common on your stream, dude. You just meet like these random people that just, hey, I'm happy to you know fucking see you. And... Yeah, it's funny. A lot of people on the internet act like they hate me, but everyone I meet in real life's like really cool. So I don't know. I guess it's just the internet for you. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I. I ever like hated you, dude. I don't think that at all. Um, but I. Well, some you know, of your after, Reddit posts didn't help <laughs> much. No, I know. I, well, I, no, no shit, dude. Uh, dude, I. I you like, were a shit okay. poster. Well, no, I. I like okay. So, um, the the first time I got banned out of your community, okay, I was I was a little bit pissed, but you know, like I sucked it up like like a little boy that I am, and I and I was like, all right, fuck it, I'll just start posting on Reddit like some things. Now, I never fucking thought that every other day I would make it into into Ice Science top ten, and and back then it was quite hard to do because everyone else was talking shit about you, and somehow I was, I was. <laughs> producing gold basically apparently um producing every gold. other day I would, I would make it into the top 10 that that ice Poseidon would be like who's this motherfucker how's he is, is he vote botting because because they i remember, remember for a time they thought i was vote botting basically on reddit uh, yeah and i was like i'm not botting shit dude i just fucking just proposed, people like, love the burger hate <laughs> they love to jump well, on dude, the hate wagon yeah 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 but what what was impressive is that like there was a lot it wasn't just me it was everyone like dude i've never seen the the amount of hate like a person like you that that during that time was not that relevant well it's easy to hate me because i stand against racism which a lot of those people are about i hate trump and i'm very vocal about it i live in a van and i'm 37 and homeless so i mean there's a lot of like ammo uh yeah yeah well i i i would say that you're not the most likable guy if i if i'm gonna be real with you i i would say um you're not the most likable guy, and I think that's just a part of who you are. That's you know? who I am. Ask the and, friends I don't have <laughs> if but it's real. I'll tell you what, because I still defend you because I'm a fucking burger apologist, and I'll, I'll admit that, that, that uh, um, well, I try not to be a burger apologist, but, you, you know, like, I don't think you mean to do it, though, you know? I don't think you mean to. I think it just kind of comes out because you're streaming six to eight hours a day. And it's just like I don't know, man. I'm just I don't I, I'm not a burger psychologist, but I'm just saying, um, you you do some shit that I I think you re regret, like just out of anger, just very fast moments of fuck you, basically. Sometimes I do <laughs> get pissed. Two 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 X call me a burger apologist. Fuck you, man. Yeah. Fuck all you guys. Burger's a great man. He's the best of what humanity has to offer, boys. Most of the haters are kids. I mean, there's actually some adult haters I have too, which is like very disconcerting. It's like, God, don't they have any? Apparently, they have nothing better in their life to do. But yeah, yeah, totally. Burger made hyphonics. Apparently, Endeavor hyphonics that. said that earlier. I don't know. It's not true. What? I don't know if he said really? it. Really, I didn't make him. Hyphonics. Roll, does uh, RuneScape made him. Yeah, he was staking on RuneScape or something. I don't even know what is what is staking. Is that like? like I don't know. I don't, I don't even. Fucking I know, think dude. it's where you try to do the challenge. You got to do like the same thing like a thousand times or some shit. I saw Volta said doing some of that stuff. It just looked like the most what OCD shit. Yeah. It's like the most OCD shit. It's like I don't see how anybody could get into that game, but I guess a lot of people like it. Yeah, I mean, I'm not. Like I'm not the really. Graphics sure. suck. It's like I'm not gonna like sit, walk around and make fire a thousand times. Like I don't care. 
And Endeavor TV said it's true. Burger made Hyphonics. Who said it? So yeah, okay, I'll believe it. Oh my God! Wow. Okay. <laughs> cool. I'm famous <laughs> now. Hyphonics is give me a show. Chill. Thank you. That's better than him being a jerk, I guess. No, I mean, I mean, I I can appreciate Hyphonics um, content just because it's it's not trying to. He's he's not a prank caller. He's not he's not this. He's not he's not like like. I guess in some ways the only bad part I'd say is that he's including people in like from Omegle that probably don't want to be public. Like those people streaming their dicks and stuff probably don't want to be. How does he do show that and not show people's dicks? He, he doesn't like, like he puts a picture up basically and then he'll sometimes show their head and shit and be like, damn. Yeah. Like, but someone could just move the camera to their dick anytime and like get him. Banned. Oh yeah. For, for sure. man. That's why sure. I don't ever try to do that. It's not worth it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, like Gr- Grimoire. I got saw. Into I talked to Hephonix like, at Uf- UFCX two. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Shit, I forgot about that. I I never thought you two met. Yeah. I met a lot. Of, I met a lot. Of, I met a lot of streamers, man. <laughs> no shit. I saw you meet them, man. I like Corey Feldman. You fucking shitting me, dude. Like I, I know. Understand, like, I was like mostly blown away about meeting Corey Feldman and. Like meeting the guy from like Omar from The Wire, Michael K. Williams. Oh yeah, that was just, crazy. We met dude. some really cool people. But what 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 fucking blew me? And, and this chat's probably not gonna be able to relate because you know he's a he like Corey Feldman was an '80s person, but um you know I watched all of his fucking shit, man. I watched I watched all like I'm I'm a huge Corey Feldman fan, and when and like I know you didn't get an interview from, him, but it didn't fucking matter. It was the it was the fact that you and him at some point in time were, were in the same like area, basically the, the, the same. Well, we were at the, a fashion show. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, is that fucking Corey Feldman? Like, that's what I was saying in my head. I was like, it can't be Corey. What? Are you fucking shitting me? The, the guy from the burbs from Goonies, like all these fucking, like I was, I was jealous. I was, I was like, shit, man. Like, I didn't That's even like, get to talk to him. I was like, do you want to be on my YouTube I channel? I was like, no. <laughs> and like walked off, away. But, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I mean. He had like, ha- he had like handlers crazy. around with him to like keep him in line and shit. Like, like some, like somebody that's like a wild animal wrangler for films or something. Like, come on, Corey, come, come with us. Come over here. The bad man has a camera. <laughs> oh yeah. 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 Corey is, is just, I mean. I don't, like what where's his career going right now is he just like he's not he, a he tried star? to be a pop star and he was on he mm-hmm. had some like viral videos because it was just so bad and he had like Corey's angels and he's wearing these like little gloves that were like only went on half your hand and he was trying to make it like a, and the fingers are cut off and he was trying to make it a style and uh i don't know it looks like he had some kind of psychotic breakdown honestly but and me, me, me and you were talking about Corey F- Feldman, like, I think, uh, probably a month ago or so. See, it seems like a while ago about it. And, uh, um, I, like, we, like, he was one of the first guys to, to really call out, like, the rich elites for, for the, uh, uh pe- pedophilia ring. It was kind of crazy, dude. I was like, holy shit. Yeah. I, I'm, yeah. I did hear about him saying stuff like that. And, yeah, uh, I don't um, know how true that is, you know? He's, like, you know, he, but, who knows? Kind of cra- like he does have crazy ideas, but I mean, like it ended up being. He doesn't right, seem though. like the most credible source, you know. But. Oh, for sure, for sure, dude, for sure. Um, I think I think he's a talented dude, though. Like I, I think he should go back into like acting. I don't know what the fuck he's doing nowadays. But I think I, he got really bad, just ate up on drugs. It looked like. Yeah, lo- looks like to me, but fuck it, man. Yeah, he was in the Lo- he was in the Lost Boys too. I was just watching another movie and he was in it too. I was like, "Holy shit, Corey Feldman's in this as well." Forget what it was. He was the uh, voice of Don Don Donatello, so and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah that's dude. That's cool. The Magic Voyage. I remember that one. I didn't um, know. I didn't know he was a Ninja Turtle. That's a fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah. He can he can do a voiceover for Donatello if you ever. Oh, uh, Watts show. said made a good point. He said he's probably blacklisted for calling out pedos in Hollywood. Ooh, that could be whether true or not. Oh yeah, yeah for true. sure. Smart, smart. That's really good. Yeah, he's probably blacklisted. For for sure, man. Hey, yeah, hey, you could tell. Um, that, yeah, I could tell just by talking to him though. He seemed like pretty like, I don't know if he's on like Xanax or something, but that shit can turn you into a fucking. It just turns you into a zombie. He looked like he wasn't really all there when i talked to him 
Well, I mean, like, I don't know much he was about wearing drugs. Sun, his face was all, like, powder. He put on this, like, powder white makeup, like a vampire. And he was, I think he had a little hat on, like a fedora. And he was wearing sunglasses indoors. Because his eyes probably had, like, bags under them or something. He was trying to cover up or something. I don't know. He just didn't look like he was doing great health-wise. Yeah, yeah. He looks. Danny Trejo's is doing great. And he's, like, you know, a lot older than that, dude. Fuck, dude! I was like, when you when you met Danny Trejos, he he had opened up like one of his restaurants there, and I was like, dude, you should go to his restaurant. Oh, you were the one that oh. told me to go there. Uh, was was that his restaurant you were in? Yeah. Oh no, shit. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, dude, yeah. I, I guess like I was one of the many that that told you to go there. I was well, like, I dude. saw it before, but I just never really thought like he goes in there. But yeah, it's like he doesn't have that many, so he's pretty hands on with it, I guess. I'm a I'm a big fan of Fluffy. Are you familiar with the comedian named Fluffy at all? He's he's a he's a Hispanic comedian. Um, oh, was he the guy, the comedian? Oh, I forget his name. He had a show a, he, on he Comedy was, Central. He, yeah, he was very fat, and then he and he lost weight. He's still fat, but a lot less um, fat. Yeah, yeah. He he went to Danny Trejo's thing because he because he has a thing on, on the Food Net Network basically. So, um, I, I saw that. And I was like, Iglesias. There you go. Thank you. Thank you, brother. I actually don't know his real name. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I've, I've always been a huge fan, fan of Fluffy. He looks totally different from, like, if you were to, like, look at him side by side, like what he is now. I mean, he's still fat, but um, just completely just different. I'm glad he lost a lot of weight, though. I mean, he should go on the keto diet. He should not be on the Food Network, though. <laughs> it's like, like slamming down, like, like fucking um, de- desserts and frosting and shit like that. Let's see here. Kevin Somebody Hose try to get me on some group chat. Quit sending me shit like that. Oh, dude, Burger, have you ever heard of a guy called John McAfee? At all? He's the um, he's so. the maker of, of the... Uh, Was that um, the guy that did McAfee, the anti- antivirus yeah. thing? Yeah, man, yeah. I heard of him. What about him? I don't know much about him, but I've heard the name. McAfee. Oh, yeah, no, I, I know. He, I, I know. think he was on, like undercover boss oh yeah uh he was i didn't know that shit I oh, they to look had that a up. lot of episodes he got away with murder oh yeah yeah someplace in south america he was had su- supposedly you know in quotation marks um off somebody for something i forget why he was accused of that but he ran for the libertarian party question mark i forget now Wow. And people asked him questions about that to, to try to, you know. But, uh, yeah. Um, Murder's not um, good. Dude, dude. He said uh, he eats shit? Ooh. I have zero connects with John McAfee, but but I'm going gonna, gonna to try to... I'm going to try to get, get in contact with John McAfee. <laughs> so. They said he used to show... Cryptocurrencies before the regulations kicked in. What's shill them mean? McAfee Dex, everyone. McAfee Dex. That, that's that's the next thing out, boys. I don't know. I have no fucking clue what that is, but John McAfee keeps on talking about McAfee Dex, and no one knows what the fuck it is, so. I don't know. Doesn't he make hammocks? Does he fucking make hammocks? I don't even know. I don't know what he does, man. He just like I know I know he was he was in the bath salts he's in the drugs he's in the prostitution he's currently married. Um, we should have, beautiful woman. Sounds like we should have not. him on the show. Sounds like a fucking can, good guest. I, <laughs> he loves. If, if I can get him on, man. Sounds wild. I'm trying. I'm trying because I because I know like I have zero connects, but I am somewhat loosely connected in with like the Bitcoin community. So I was going to ask um, people if they knew anything like there. He was on he goes on random shows like you have to get in contact with his wife. I just don't have any contacts with his wife. Mm. Um, but he was on XRP Zoo, which is a random Bitcoin channel. Basically, he was he was on another another fucking channel. But he ended the, the interview abruptly because the guy kept on asking him about not Bitcoins, but about other fucking atrocities in his life about um, um I think he'd be willing to talk about his drug experiences, which I think would be interesting as fuck to, to, to see what he has to talk about about that. But he got hired in by Boeing, basically, um, under, I think, a governmental contract. And 
And I was because he 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 wrote like several books. And and uh, what was interesting is that when they were hiring him in, they they went through like a security check, and he fucking listed all the drugs he ever did, and and they still hired him. And he said, well, they they still hired me because. Um, because they wanted to see, like, if I was truthful, they they want to hire people that that are truthful, not like liars, essentially. So, um, but he listed all the drugs he did during that. He did like acid, fucking cocaine, uh, bath salts, um, bath salts. It, yeah, he's he's done that, and he says it's like he goes crazy. He so. had hookers yeah. lie in hammocks and do shit on his face. What the fuck? That might be true, man. He just want to watch <laughs> the poop come out of their butthole. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> Ew, can yeah, you imagine, uh, like, I mean, I guess I would shit on someone's face for money, like, I mean, it's not really, I'd rather do that than, like, do sex stuff with them, I guess. Can you make money that way? <laughs> hold, um, hold on, guys, I gotta put a Craigslist that up. Cleveland Steamer, right, I gotta put a Cra Craigslist that up, hold on. <laughs> Adult friend finder. He's still uh, running for libertarian primary. Well, good luck with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's been hitting a lot of like uh, like channels on bitcoins though. Anyone that that's pimping out bitcoins, he'll he'll hop on. So, well, I'm pretty tired, man. I think I'm gonna have to call it a night. It was nice having you on the show. Thanks for being a guest tonight. This is all universe. It, he does live streams. Check him out on YouTube or Twitch, I guess. Uh, D Live. D Live. <laughs> okay, D Live. Download D Live. Oh, yeah. Which no one. No, no. Like if you if if you sub to my YouTube channel, I'll usually point you in the right direction because I'll direct it to my uh, what is it Twitter, and then Twitter will direct you to my D Live channel. So okay, so are... somehow, some way, you could find some, him. Magic, magic, man. There's, it, boys. You know, there's other alt universes, right? Like your name uh, isn't the first to I pop up so. on YouTube or anything. I'm not original. My God. I'm just saying, it makes it a little hard to find you. I'll I'll type in chat. You guys can sub if you care. I don't. I mean, you know, it's a small channel. So. Yo. Yeah, mine is too. <laughs> it's not Dude, the size so of the channel. It's the motion in the ocean. Well, thanks guys for watching tonight. That's gonna conclude this evening's uh, burger after dark. And uh, thank you guys so much. And uh, We'll catch you on the next one and hope you have a great night and had a safe weekend and safe Halloween and we'll see you soon. Uh, you guys we'll, might be back tomorrow to do another stream. You guys can search his channel by clicking on his name. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Peace. <laughs>
Oh, by the way, make sure to subscribe and turn on all notifications. Follow me on Twitter, Discord, and post on Burger Planet Live Reddit. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye and good night. Broadcasting live from Global Corp Studios, this is Burger Planet signing off. This concludes our day's broadcast schedule.